I don't remember any of it. You don't remember? For you, the day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. Welcome to the Rated G for Gamers podcast, episode 109. Just a reminder before we start that you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, YouTube, and Vero at Rated G for Gamers. You can always email us at info at Rated G for Gamers dot com. We appreciate all the love. I'm your host, Dave Rotino. This is my co-host, Dan, the podcaster, formerly known as Classic Robinson. What's going on, man? I feel... Great. I just got back from the gym today. That's right. I got a new gym membership. Uh, I'm eating right on the diet. Uh, I'm feeling good, man. Feeling good. Diet? What diet ones. are you on? You're always on a diet. What diet I, are you on? I am on the ketogenic diet. The, the keto, what's up? Yeah, all the it? ketogenic what? diet, yes. yes. What, what the hell is that? All right, look, 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 look. I'm going to get into it because because you asked me. You asked me how I was doing. So I will tell you, I am not trying to preach. Uh, but ketogenic diet, and it's, it's been around for a while and in many forms, it's, it's kind of the Atkins diet and whatnot, but there's actual science behind it. It's essentially no carbs, no sugar, right? You 65% fat, 35% protein. Uh, that's kind of where you need to be. Uh, you kind of got to limit your carbs to like 20 grams a day at max, if possible. Uh, the less carbs you have, the better, because the whole thing of it is, if you starve yourself of carbs and sugar, then your body has to look to the fat for energy, right? And it breaks all that down. So if you do that and, you know, you kind of maintain it, you can lose a decent amount of weight. You know, like uh, I would recommend it for people who are looking to try a way to lose weight uh, if they try to the diets and whatever else. Like I'm not saying it's the be all end all, but it works. It works. Well, you, know what you know what diet I'm on? Uh-huh. I see it. I eat it. That's You're the on the I'm on. seafood diet. Oh wow, wow! Listen, it's hard to gain weight. I'm sorry. Okay, I have mm-hmm. the opposite. Of, I have the opposite problem of you. Okay. Well, it's lucky you. You, you have you have you have the metabolic genes of a, of a uh, of a of an Adonis. I'm 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 a little jealous. Well, that was the first time I've ever everybody's ever uh, put me in the same sentence as an Adonis, but I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I'm just you know, I, fake praise, fake praise. <laughs> I'll take I'll take it. I'll take uh-huh. it. I'm going to that. Dave uh-huh. has called me an Adonis. I'll yeah. Take it, well, hey, look, look, look. I, I used to be great back in the day. I could eat whatever I wanted. But that was also when I was or when like we were uh, running around hauling big ass TVs around and helping customers all day and sweating our uh, butt off. Oh, uh, the Circuit City days. Right. The good old so, days. you know, I was in great shape back then. So I'm just trying to maintain. I'm trying to get back to that weight, you know, doing some exercise and this and that, uh, you know. It feels good though. It feels good. You know what? No, you know what? My name should just be Dan the Adonis Robinson. Uh, Dave the Adonis. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's take see. It. Let's I'll see. Take let's it. see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Let's see what hey, happens in the next episode. <laughs> are you excited for PAX? We're, we're like one week closer to going to PAX. Oh, I would say. I would say on the Dave scale, I am fan. Fantastically excited, if that makes any sense. I thought you were just going to say, hell yeah. <laughs> well, you know, crack some crack some beers, 316, sure, sure. <laughs> I'm ready uh, to go. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Am, I'm anx- I am like super anxious right now. I've already, all my gamer shirts are ready to, ready to go. Right, right. You got them all pressed and clean and folded. I'm ready to go. Nice. And you got like nice. four more weeks. I know, right? What? No, n- not even. Not even. When is, what is it now? What is it now? We're like, yeah, I mean, as of it's this the, uh, recording, the 12th right now. Okay, so we have like, uh, we have like three and a half weeks. 20, yeah, all right, fine, yeah, I have like, I have like uh, three and a half weeks, three and a half weeks. It feels, it feels, it feels very close. It is going to actually come up very quickly, you know, but 
it's great. Um, you know, uh, I know this is, you know, you're not, you're not a, uh, not a spring chicken anymore. You know, you're a seasoned vet. You've been down in the trenches, as I like to say. Um, I've been going for like five, six years and I'm still excited. Uh, it's a four day event now, so it's going to be even bigger and better. You know, a lot of our friends are going, which is going to be nice. So we can meet up with all of them. You know, we're actually going to record this time at Penny Arcade. That's going to happen. We're going to get a, we're going to get a PAX record going. So that that should be good. But also, uh, just a reminder to everybody that uh, we do still have the contest going on. Well, OK, it ends today. Uh, so the Penny Arcade free ticket giveaway by Rated G is now over. Uh, we have pick winners and those those winners are on the uh, the Instagram. Uh, so please check us out there to see if you've won. Uh, we will be in contact to get your contact info so we can send those tickets out. Um, so congratulations to all those winners. And uh, yeah. Just as, uh, you know, for advice for the two winners, mm-hmm. wear comfortable shoes. Oh, Don't my God. Yes. Yes. That is the most important thing. And I I feel for the cosplayers. Let me tell you. Uh, I went one year. Uh, I, I took my Eddie Riggs costume from, from a Brutal Legend. You won as Eddie Riggs. I won as Eddie Riggs. Well, that was, that was like my Halloween costume. Uh, I'm pretty sure I put pic, pics are on the Instagram if you want to see. I thought the costume turned out real well. Uh, I spent a bit on it, but, you know, that's kind of what you do. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of intricate parts. And, you know, I built the axe myself, and it was great. I, like, lit it up so it had, like, electricity coming off of it. I was really impressed with it. And, um, you know, the, the reason I did that, I mean, A, it's a con and, you know, you dress up and that's like kind of cool. And everyone's like, hey, Eddie Riggs, great, great. But uh, Tim Schaefer was there, the creator, you know, the genius, Tim Schaefer. So I was like, oh, I want to go there and get a picture with him and whatnot. And he had a Brutal Legend art book and whatnot. So I picked that up. He signed that for me. Got some pictures with him. He was like, he was super excited. Um, so that was kind of cool. Uh, but I uh, I was wearing uh, costume appropriate shoes, right? Not con appropriate shoes, because uh, he wears like basically the Chuck Taylor All Stars, like the black and white, and they have like zero support, right? So I even I put like arches in there, orthotics, the, some some padding, some Doctor Scholl's. It still hurt. So like I spent about half the day in the costume, and then as soon as I met him and it was over, like I went right back to the hotel room and switched my shoes into something more comfortable. You should you should dress up this year. You should. Maybe just do something uh, for one of the days. Nah, no time, no time, no time. We only have we only have a couple weeks to the con. I mean, may, maybe, maybe, but you know, we'll see. If 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 I would do anything, I may bring I I, I would maybe bring back the uh, eco costume from uh, well eco from eco, yeah. Uh, Wait, I still, you went as eco before? I did, yeah, yeah. I don't actually have any pictures of that, sadly, but yeah, I have the whole tunic. I made the tunic myself. It was, you know, pretty good. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not a bad costume. Uh, if I was going to do anything, I'd probably do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Listen, hashtag Dave cosplay. Come on. Hashtag Come Dave on. cosplay. Uh-oh. Come on. Uh-oh. All right. Look, 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 look. I don't think I've ever seen you. I mean, I've seen the pictures and I've, yeah. you know, I've never seen you dressed up in person. Like, like, like in full on a uh, cosplay. All right. All right. Here's the deal. If enough people, if enough people get that hashtag going and there's enough, there's enough, uh, there's enough activity on it. I'll do it. I'll say that one day. One day. I'll Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. Really? What? What if enough people say Dave? Uh, hashtag Dave GMG T-shirt. Uh no. <laughs> let's on. not get. Let's not get. Let's not get crazy. Let's not get crazy. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-uh. Come on. Uh, yeah. Girl, man, gamer, baby. Uh-uh. Come on. Uh uh-uh. uh. That is that is that is your thing. GMG. Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. All right. Fine. Sounds like a morning right. show. Good. Good morning, gamer. <laughs> that, that could be awesome too. Good morning, wow. game, game gamers. Mm, yeah, no, no. Okay, Mm-mm. I tried. <laughs> it was a valiant effort. I tried. I tried. All right, I have. I got a big beef to pick with Amazon. I'm putting this in the gamer grief segment. Oh, oh, this is this is news. I don't know about this. So, this, about so this, this is the third time this has happened to me. Okay, the mm-hmm. first time, first two times, I got products from Amazon that mm-hmm. were clearly used. Okay, I got a monitor that was cracked that was already opened. It was already opening used. Right. Okay, I got a stereo stand that uh, the glass was broken inside. Oh, it was like I, metal I frame and, oh, and the shelves are made of the glass. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This time I got a pair of Sony Platinum headphones, the PlayStation headphones. Yeah, yeah for PlayStation I know. 4. I know. And it was 
the the plastic seal broke. Okay, oh the in God. the the plastic seal on the inside broke. Okay, mm -hmm. the headphones scuffs. Mm -hmm. Now it works. I tested it. It works, but I paid full price for this. I don't want. I don't want a used headphones. I paid full price for. If that's the case, give me give me half my money back. I want right. to get charged so uh, for an open box item and used item. This is a little so, bit of a bait and switch. You're saying, huh? Yeah, no, I, this is the third time this has happened, okay? Oh, my God. So I got a big, big beef with Amazon, mm -hmm. all right? Now, I will say that they were super helpful, and they will send you the product again without you sending them back the product right away. Right? right. You have, I have 30 days to send it off. It's going out tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> sure. I'm sending it back. But uh, they said I should, I, I should get my new headphones tomorrow. Hopefully it's new. Uh, but it's yeah. still that it's, it's still a pain that I can go through this. Right. So, right. like, and this is the third time this has happened. Big gamer grief right there. Big oh gamer grief. Oh my god. So, uh, Amazon, get your stuff together. If it's used, sell it as used. If that's the case. We're mm -hmm. sending it back to the manufacturer. I'm just sorry. I was pissed off because I was super excited for these headphones. I brought the platinum ones. They were on sale. Right. Well, well. To add on to that, and 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 to also be in solidarity of you know being shafted by Amazon, um, the. Uh, when you're uh, when you're uh, dealing with uh, uh, Amazon Prime discount on new games, right? Uh, I think everybody knows that. You know, we've talked about it at length on the show that uh, Amazon Prime members get twenty percent off any game that isn't out yet, right? So if you pre-order a game, you get a twenty percent discount, right? Uh, the problem is, uh, like when I was trying to get the God of War Special Edition, right, or Collector's Edition, or Legendary Edition, or whatever edition they have for whatever game. You don't automatically get the discount. They don't add the discount to it. It's a pre-order item. It is a video game, right? It should count. Uh, I don't think anywhere in their terms of service or whatever else uh, says anything about that where it's like excluded or this and that or whatever. I've had to call them up before and be like, look, I didn't get 20% in this game. What's up? You know, 20% off. So now what I have to do, you know, as soon as the show is over, it pre-order the God of War 4 edition and then promptly call up Amazon and spend a good like half an hour to an hour and have them get the discount. Right. Because they will do it. You know, they've done it before and they should do it because that's kind of like part of their plan. But yeah, I I pre-ordered it like a month ago, mm -hmm. like as soon as they put it out. I you know what? I never paid attention to that. I never knew that. I got. I'm gonna make a phone call tomorrow and tell there, there Amazon. Is, there is money left on the table. Get on that. Yeah, I didn't know that. I gotta be honest. I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Heads up. Well, look, yeah. look at look at Dave. I I know things, people. All right. <laughs> I know things. <laughs> yeah, I know things. You know what? Know Good looks on that one. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So Dan, um, as we always try and start the show. Well, okay. As you always say, as we always try and start the show. <laughs> What have you been playing? Well, as I always say, as we always mm -hmm. try to start the show, but epically fail. Oh, that's all right. The time. That's right. Well, I most forgot. of the time. Epically fail. Mm -hmm. It's most of the time. What mm -hmm. have you been playing? Mm -hmm. uh, I've been playing a lot. I've been playing Zelda Minish Caps. On, uh, I've been playing it. It's two part. I've been playing it on the Game Boy Advance SP. Mm -hmm. And I've also been playing it on uh, the Game Boy Advance player for the GameCube. Oh, so, right, right, right. You just, you just uh, picked that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Minish I have that. I have the disc, so it mm -hmm. works. So I've been playing it on my big 32-inch, uh, uh, you know, tube TV, uh -huh. making J-Bam from uh, one, Team 1 Up'em proud, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. save this puppy from That's being right. uh, trash. That's right. Um, like yeah. I say, I love, I got I to say, I really like that game. I really like that. Minish Cap is very underrated. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty solid, you know. Lots of new mechanics in there. You know, the you know the fact that you can turn, like, super tiny and there's, like, a whole other world to explore, like, super cool. Yeah, so I, I like that game. Uh, I've been playing that game. I've been playing Rhyme on PS4. Mm -hmm, I'm like mm -hmm. at least halfway through. So it's like Zelda without battles, but I will say the controls are a little janky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many times I, I I thought I made a perfect jump, and then mm -hmm. I just like, you know, fall out, I fall out and die and have to make the jump again. And I'm like, I made a good jump. The, the <sighs> controls are a little janky, I got to say. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I don't actually own the game yet. Um, I was planning on picking it up for the Switch, but uh, I know there's a bit of a price differential between the PS4 and the Switch version, which is annoying. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of waiting for a discount sale, and then I'll probably pick it up. 
So I, uh, full disclosure, I own it on a Switch. I haven't played it on a Switch. I know there's an update where they fix sort of the graphics and the frame rate because oh. when it first came out, it was terrible mm-hmm. on the Switch. Um, but I've been playing it on the PS4 because it was free with PS Plus last month. That's so I figured right. That's right. It. Yeah, you know so. what? I'm I am a complete idiot. We talked about that on the last episode of the episode before, and I said I was going to download it. I still haven't downloaded it. You, well, you, never you got it. You you have reminded me now to go on a PS4 and see if I can download it and probably yeah, cry because it's not on can. sale anymore. Yeah, right. I missed it. Yeah, yeah that was, that was February. <sighs> well, it's, well, it's, if you did you, it's not you still February, it? is it? It is. It is. It is. February is over. Damn. As of this, as of this recording, I think February's over. Did you, did, you, did you play Bloodborne? Wait, did you play Bloodborne? I own, I own a Bloodborne. Okay, because that's yeah, yeah, I'm good. that's I'm out. Good. That's out for PS Plus uh, for March. Oh, very nice, very nice. Yeah, I really um, got to like actually put more time into that. I like got stuck in the first area. It's very, very tough. Very tough game. I'm not a Dark Souls type of person, so mm-hmm. I. I gotta be honest. I died. I literally, and this is no exaggeration. I must have died like two hundred times, and I'm just like, I'm done. Right. I didn't even get out of the first stage. I mean, it's like it's a great game, but I would never recommend it to anybody because it's basically just like it's masochistic. You know, it's just brutally hard. You know, you have to really pay attention. It's not. It's it's not. It's not like as you say. It's not like one of those casual games you can just veg out and do something else while you're playing it. Like you got to be in it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm probably not. I'm not going back to that. Um, <laughs> so, I, what I, a game I have gone back to is Assassin's Creed Origins. Mm. So, I know you've warmed up to the game lately. A little bit, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bay- I, Bayek is my boy now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm I've invested. Always, so, I've been playing. I, I, I love this game, but I can only play a few missions at a time. This is not a game. You know, when you have those open world games where it's not linear, it's just open world and you have to pick and choose what you do and you got to do a lot of side quests in this game. Mm-hmm. So I've just been doing like two or three missions at a time and, and you know, just enjoying the scenery of uh, ancient Egypt. Mm-hmm. Pretty awesome. And same thing with L.A. Noir. I've been playing L.A. Noir on the Switch. I took your advice. I've been taking a Switch with me. OK, traveling to work, coming back. I've been playing L.A. Noir, another game that it's fantastic. I know you thought I would love the game. I like the game. It's cool. I just not, it's not a game that I need. I can spend like five hours at a time doing. Mm-hmm. Um, I I've pretty much been playing like two or three missions at a time with that one too. You know what game needs to be ported to the Switch? And we're going to talk about the Nintendo Direct later on and how it's a lot of ports. And you're going to hate this, but if they ported Mafia Three. To the Switch, I would play more of that. Import of Mafia Three to the Switch. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. I would play more. I would play because that's another game mm-hmm. that's sort of open worldy, like L.A. Noir, right? Back in those old times, old back in the day. Sure, sure. Uh, in the '60s, not the '40s. Right, right. Down in like uh, Louisiana, which is like I think one of the, if not the only game that I can note that is set down in the Bayou in the 1960s, or even in the Bayou in general, right? Yeah. So that's kind of I, interesting. That's a game that I can play like a couple of missions at a time. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm actually looking at the uh, I'm looking at the Mafia Three poster right now that we got last year at uh, Penny Arcade. It's nice. great. Got it all framed up. Yeah, that's solid. I still I still that's got solid. to frame that. Still still rolled up in the plastic. Yeah man. Yeah man. I got a guy. I got a guy. I got a guy. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. Uh, so I've been playing. I've been playing that. I've been playing Splatoon Two on the Switch. Mm-hmm. Okay. I gotta say, huge Splatoon two fan. I wasn't a big Splatoon fan on a Wii U when it first mm-hmm, came out, mm-hmm. but when it came out for the Switch, the single player challenges are challenging. I gotta yeah. say, they they are not easy. Mm-hmm. So I'm a well, big Splatoon two fan. You should uh, you should definitely be excited. Uh, little uh, yep, teaser: I, our convo of the week has some uh, some stuff that uh, may be Splatoon two related. And finally, I've been playing the demo for Cur- uh, Kirby Star Allies. Yeah, I um I started playing that too. I was very eh on it. On the Dave scale. Eh. Firmly, firmly, eh, not so great. Really? Yeah. I, listen, I gotta say it's, it's it's Kirby. It's easy, right? But Kirby yeah, it's easy. aren't really that hard. Like a lot of uh, you know, like when you when you create allies, they sort of do a lot of the work for you. And it takes mm-hmm. the challenge out of it, but I mean, that's sort of like a Kirby game. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I know I, I know it's going to be easy, but 
I it just felt like all the other Kirby games too. It is it is so far from the spectrum of a dark of a Dark Souls or a Bloodborne. Oh my god, I <laughs> right? know. Where Bloodborne know. is super hard, right? And I, I died two hundred times in the first level, literally two hundred times. Like I yep. tried my best to beat that level. Yep. I guess maybe a lot. I guess a, half of my my deaths were out of frustration and me not paying attention to what I needed to really do. Mm-hmm. Kirby is the total opposite to where you can blink an eye and just and kill like five bosses. And yeah, jump five yeah, levels. it's it's just it's like a cakewalk, you know. I guess it's kind of fun in that respect. I'm not knocking the difficulty level, but just like it felt like the old Kirby's. I don't know. I don't know what was new about it. You know, uh, well, you know, Kirby allies, but you could turn some of the enemies into allies that you couldn't do before. Um, I like that aspect. I like I like Kirby games. I mean, you know, Kirby's uh, that that Kirby that, that that Kirby robot, Robo Kirby game that came out for 3ds, like played the heck out of it i think i even mm-hmm. i think did i even did i nominate that for game of the year if not it's definitely one of my top 20 games of last year mm-hmm. or top 15 right. games of last year that i really right. liked and i and i beat that game mm-hmm. so what have you been playing uh i'm still playing the uh secret of mana on uh, ps4 uh, you were like one of five people that actually like that game <laughs> no i think it got pretty good reception i mean you know, a lot of people are knocking it for various reasons, and we've we've talked about it at length on previous shows. But you know, I love it. You know, it's a little bit of the nostalgia factor. But uh, I'm plowing through. I've, I've I've made it to the upper lands now. Um, you know, just about to get the uh, the flying dragon mount. Uh, so you know, I'm I'm making I'm making uh making uh making some good progress in the game. You know, uh, that and uh, Raving Rabbids, the Mario Rabbids game on the go, because you know you need something to play in the subway. So you know, yeah, those two you're games. You're like almost done with that game, right? Mm, possibly. Uh, I'm at the fourth level uh, out of I think five, maybe six. I'm assuming after this will be the the final uh, showdown with like uh, Bowser Jr. or whatever. Gotcha. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, you know, it's super good. Uh, now it's starting to get a little bit tough, but I'm in. I'm in. Did you get any good pickups this week? I got Assassin's Creed 2 for the DS, uh, which is funny enough. Uh, I picked it up at GameStop, no less, and I asked the guy behind the counter for it. He's like, he said, they made an Assassin's Creed for the DS? I'm like, yes, they did. And it's right here in the case. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, um, it, was, uh, it was an Ezio adventure made for the DS. Uh, so not specifically Assassin's Creed 2 that you may remember for the 360 or PS3, but in that same world with the same character, you know, that, that, that same Florence area or whatever, whatever it is. Really? Uh, I didn't even know they made Assassin's Creed for the DS. I know uh, I got the one for Vita. You know what? You're going to now get it. <laughs> Mark my words, this time next week in Dan's pickups, <laughs> it's going to be in there. You know me so well, because I have, I literally have... Um, not, I won't say almost every, but I have a lot of Assassin's Creed games. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. I, I mostly have almost all of Assassin's Creed games. Ma- yeah. Maybe I even have, I could possibly have that game too. Mm-hmm. I, I gotta check <laughs> you now. I gotta you check. gotta check. Now, you gotta now check. I will check, actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, so uh, I picked up those. I got a couple new Amiibo, uh, which is great because they've got the Metroid ones back in stock. You can get them like everywhere now. So I was like, yes, I will take them. I uh, didn't pay a cent over retail for them. So, uh, you know, I feel good about that. Uh, but yeah, you know, a little light in the pickups this week. A little light in the pickups. But um, what about you? Because I know, well, I mean, I can see here in the list. I mean, uh, obviously the listeners don't see the notes got, behind the scenes. But I got, uh, you, I, I uh, you did well. I got a semi-beefy pickup, pick, uh-huh. pickups this week. Semi-beefy. All right. All right. So I'm, I, listen. The Vita, this, I've openly said I was the, I'm one of the only people still on Vita Island. And the Vita, I know the Switch, the Switch has killed the Vita because all the indies are all going to Vita. I mean, all going to Switch right now. They're leaving the Vita, right? That's so right. even the Vita Lounge stopped putting out reviews like in June over the summer. Yeah. So the Switch, the, the, the Vita is pretty much done. So if you're going to start collecting for the Vita, <laughs> you got to start now before right. they get Price is- what they before the prices start skyrocketing and, and, and i know i'm not even i'm not even talking about the limited run vita games just like the vita games that came out like i got i just picked up dead or alive 5 which i didn't even know came out for the vita 
mm-hmm. uh, Tearaway, which I have mm-hmm. for the PS4, but I wanted to get the Vita version. I, I already have the game because I think it was like free for PS Plus for Vita uh, mm-hmm. like a few months ago. But I, I, I picked up the physical and I right. picked up Super Monkey Ball for the Vita. Another game did not know they made for the Vita. Right. So I'm trying to get the Amazing Spider-Man. That game seems to be really expensive. Well, it's, it's, it's hiking up in price right now. Like right. right now, it's like twenty, thirty dollars. Oh, really? Right? Yeah. Which, which is just going to go up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I picked that up. I would say my darling pickup of the week was the Sea of Thieves controller. Mm, very nice, very nice. I'm, I'm, right. I'm a little bit jealous. I like the uh, the color scheme on there. It's pretty solid. Solid purple color scheme. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I gotta say, I, I, I like the controller. I paid a little bit too much money for it because. Uh, Full disclosure, it is like what I think it's like eighty dollars if you mm-hmm. got it from uh, Microsoft directly. Mm-hmm. For some reason, you can buy it on Amazon. I don't know if you can still buy it. It's probably sold out on Amazon for a hundred dollars. Uh, it's probably from a third party seller. I bet that's it. So Amazon had it listed for a hundred bucks, ninety nine dollars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was a third. I don't think it was a third party. Oh, but uh, even IGN covered it in, in one of their piece when they did an unboxing of it, mm-hmm. like a hundred dollars. So I really wanted it. As my best friend says, best friend Brian, who's a huge fighting game fan, mm-hmm. uh, and hopes to one day own every fighting game that ever came out. <laughs> uh, it's all if you really right want there. something, you buy it. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's words to live by. If you really like something, words, buy it. Words to live by. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, Another game that's escaped my grasp several times that I picked up is Ice Climbers for the NES. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. So I really like I liked that game growing up as a kid. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, it's fun. They got to bring them back in uh, Smash Brothers whenever that game is coming out, let me tell you. Well, we may we may know. Stay tuned. We'll talk about it uh, in that combo. In the, of the combo week. of the week. That's right. Uh, so I picked that game up. I picked up Croc 2. Now, I have Croc 1 for PlayStation. Didn't want to spend the money for Croc 2. It's, it's I want to say, a little pricey, but it looks like it's getting up there in price. PlayStation 2. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and obviously, PlayStation uh, 1. Sega Saturn. PlayStation 1. PlayStation, right? PlayStation 1, sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I picked it up for Game Boy Color. Right. To bolster up my Game Boy, uh, my Game Boy Color games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also picked up Clay Fighter, 63. 63 and a third for oh, N64. Boy. Not the oh, Blockbuster boy. exclusive. That's like $600. That's the sculptor's cut. Uh-huh. That's uh-huh. the sculptor's cut. Uh-huh. Which the I most did expensive. play when I was younger. Yeah, it, it, you did? Oh, no I way. I rented it. I should have never took it back. No <laughs> I way. Back. I shouldn't have took it back. Mm-hmm. I should have just kept it. The yeah, right? It's like, yeah, I'll, I'll pay whatever it is for the game. It's fine. You know, now it's like quadruple the price of what they would have charged you for it. I know uh, it, it would have been well worth it. It would have been. Yeah, well worth it. I mean, it it, it it is it is the most expensive game on the Nintendo sixty four. If anyone ever comes across that game, which you won't, but if you do, snatch it up, because you know, snatch yeah, it up. yeah, good, good money right there. Good investment. Good investment. Good. So mm-hmm. Dave knows I I like the complete series. Like it irks me if I have. <laughs> Uh, you know, the first one or the second one and don't uh-huh. the third one uh-huh. in the that, series. That hoarder mentality kicks in. I got to get it all. I got to get every I every single one, which which I commend you on. I commend you on, right? You're like, I need all the Spider-Man games and you will get all of the Spider-Man games. I will get all the Spider-Man you will, games. You will make that happen. So I, well, I in, am... in, in the series, it's not like Sp- the Spider-Man games ever made, but if there's well, like yeah, series, sure. I need all the series. You do, of course, of course. The That's how so, you ended up with all the James Pond games. Yeah, well, you know what? Listen, James Pond that's, overrated. Game. I mean, underrated game. I'm that's Pond you. with a P, folks, not Bond with a B. It's very, very different. <laughs> very different. Um, so I realized I didn't have. I had. I have all the Virtual Fighters mm-hmm. except for the first one. Oh yeah, like, yeah. The OG how can one. I miss the first one? The OG so, one. Mm-hmm. And then I realized I had Virtual Cop One, but not Virtual vir- Virtual Cop Two. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to bolster up my uh, Sega Saturn. Japanese game collection, so I went and bought those two for the Japanese <laughs> games. Not to mention they were the cheaper versions too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so. Question: Do you own the Fighters Mega Mix? I do. Uh, all right, all right, very nice, very nice. Same, same. I own that for uh, the PAL version. And again, once you have the memory card 
for uh, the Sega Saturn, it makes it region free. Yeah, very nice, very nice. I have a trivia question for you. Do you okay. know the secret characters that are in Fighters Mega Mix? The answer is no. Because uh, I was going to give you a hint. I was going to say there's four. And I, was, um, and I can't even name one. Well, 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 it should be pretty obvious. You can play as the Hornet car from Daytona USA. Oh, yes, yes. I knew about that one. I knew, you can, I did, I, I knew about that one. I you can that. play as a piece of meat. Mm-hmm. You that can play know. as a palm tree, I believe. What? Uh-huh. Of, what and I believe, I believe the fourth and final character is Pepsi Man, the uh, Pepsi Cola mascot from back in the day. Okay. Uh huh. Palm tree, palm tree, and meat is is just <laughs> stupid. Why? Why <laughs> you can place a palm It's tree. hilarious. I, I don't I know. I understand the Pepsi man, and I can understand. I can understand the car. I, can I know, you? I you can car. understand the car, but you can't understand, can understand a piece, a piece of, meat. of meat. A piece of meat. A piece of meat. That doesn't even sound. None right. of them are real. It? You shouldn't be able to do a suplex with with the NASCAR, but you can. I, why, well, that doesn't make it, why can I drop kick with a with a palm tree? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, but you it's, can get hit uh, by a car, so we can sort of be like a suplex. <laughs> But it stands up on two wheels like it's human. It's so funny. Uh, well, you know, I mean, you never seen a car stand up on two wheels before. <laughs> I mean, yes, only when it's about to be uh, flipped over and crushed. Well, well there you go. <laughs> Same equivalent. Oh, uh, right, right. Well, speaking of piece of meat, I picked up Super Meat Boy for the PS4. What? Oh, that you like that? Ten out of ten on that segue. Keep it going. Okay, good. Okay, good. I knew you would like that one. Uh huh. I didn't even know they released a physical version for this, so I had to pick that up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a uh, Switch version if it's not out already. I don't think it's a physical version, though. It's eShop. eShop only. Uh, yeah, it is the eShop for now, yeah. eShop only. Mm-hmm. Um, I, uh, another game I'm double dipping in because I, I think it's fantastic. And Dave, you have to play this game. I don't know how many oh, times I'm going to play. This has to be. You got to put this in the next five what game, what game? What game do I need to play? Life is Strange. Oh, yeah. You know, I've been meaning to get into that. Um, so, so, I mean, I beat the first one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I bought Life is Strange before the storm. And I, I'm up to the, the last I'm up to the last episode. Mm-hmm. But I just found mm-hmm. out they released a physical version. So I bought the limited edition for the first one. I mm-hmm. bought the limited mm-hmm. edition for this one. I can get PS4. behind that. I can get behind that. So uh, I got to actually that's going to be next on my list. I got to play the last episode and see how that story ends. Mm-hmm. Um, I got Haunted Mansion for for the OG Xbox, and I got this from Lukey. Uh, I got this from Lukey, and they sent me a sealed copy. The haunted is that like the remake with uh, Eddie Murphy? Is that what I, that that game? That, is that's based the on? movie. I don't think this was a movie tie-in. I think it was just uh, like no. I'm pretty sure it was. It's it's a uh, the uh, the no. Disney property, right? Haunted Mansion. It's a Disney property. I don't think yeah. it's like I don't yeah, think it's a movie time. in the in the video game. I know. Well, Listen, I, that's the that's the uh, that's the uh, the movie that it's based off, where he's the main character. Like, it may not. It's obviously not voiced by Eddie Murphy, but it, it may be a lookalike. You know the. A, uh, it, yeah, no, but it's on a lot of people's hidden gem list for the Xbox. So I figured I'd pick it up. Really? But I wasn't expecting to get a sealed copy. Yeah, no, that's pretty nice. And then you promptly opened it and played it. Not yet. I'm, I'm oh, okay. If I'm okay. Gonna buy another one and keep it sealed, but uh, oh, interesting. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you banging no, on that game going up and going? You banging on that game going up in price? You never know. I mean, it's listen, true. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm probably just going to end up just ripping it open and playing it because <laughs> I hate having things that are sealed. Unless right? it was a little Samson. Right. Well, <laughs> that's that's a completely it. different story. And I would keep it sealed. Mm-hmm. Uh, another game again. I, I found I found this at a thrift shop. I found the Tasmanian Tiger two for the GameCube at a thrift shop. Oh, like oh, four bucks. <laughs> found that out. Game. Oh, go go ahead. So I looked. Obviously, it, it's part two. So I went and was like, I gotta buy part one. I found out there's three. So I bought one and two. So now I have one, two, and three for the wow. GameCube. Wow, you know, you know, tie, tie the Tasmanian Tiger almost as good a mascot as Voodoo Vince. Which is I which do. is right below Doctor Muto you're right. in in the mascot hierarchy. You're right. View Vince is higher. He's he. Uh, I gotta put View Voodoo Vince way high. 
Oh, God. Voodoo Vince is right there, right below Crash Bandicoot. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Crash Crash is a better mascot. As much as I hate that game, I like him well, as a well, well, I said he's below. I said he's below. Said, oh, below? Nah, no way. Yeah. No way. You got to work on your power right ranking. Below. <laughs> it's Mario, Sonic, Crash, Voodoo Vince. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Vito Vince, top five, top, top five mascots. Get out of here. Top 10? Uh-uh. Top 10? Uh, bottom five. Top 10? Bottom five. five. Top 10? I mean, top maybe five. maybe in the top 30. Maybe. You know what? We're going to have a convo. To, we're going to rank the mascots. I, I would be all about this. I, 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 need some, I need some time to come up with the proper power rankings. Mm-hmm. Well, I already gave you mm-hmm. four right there. Mm, no, let's 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 definitely let's definitely let's definitely come to the table, think this out, and uh, and uh, come back. I want to see what you come up with. All right. So uh, I picked up Wave Race, the Blue Storm, for mm-hmm. the GameCube, but I, mm-hmm. I I got the Blockbuster version, and you know I love getting like the Blockbuster versions and and games with stickers on them, and 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 the and you know people have their their name on them and a sharpie. It brings character. That game has a story. Okay, sure. I have no sure. problem getting the blockbuster version. Not to mention, sure. I got it for four dollars. Oh, well, there you go. Price is right. Price is right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I picked up two Nintendo Power magazines for uh, both. The first one was uh, the one from Mario Kart, the first Mario Kart, and then mm-hmm. Mario Kart sixty four. Oh, nice, nice. I will say, I got a little beef with uh, with the post office because my the one for uh, Mario Kart sixty four was a little damaged. Mm-hmm. And if you look at the if you look at the, if you look at the Instagram, it was a lot damaged. Actually, the the cover is the front cover is like sort of ripped to shreds and almost coming off. But oh, you know what? True. The price is right. I'm not going to complain. What am I going to do? Ship it back to the guy? Yeah, right? You, you could. Uh, it wasn't his fault. It was post office's fault. Well, I know, I know. Because the whole package was ripped. You could tell they probably just threw it and threw a box on top and it scraped it. Right. So. Right. So I couldn't get too mad at that. Uh, and finally, okay, this is this is this is this is the cherry on top for my pickups. I've been wanting this for 19 years. I really wanted this. I didn't get it for Christmas. I was really mad. In retrospect, it's probably a better thing that I didn't get it for Christmas, and I got the games that I got. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I really wanted a power glove. Oh, okay, well, who you're didn't? playing with power. Who didn't? And I finally man? got it, and I yep. finally got it. 19 yep. years later. Mm-hmm. I would I would recommend uh, putting in Punch Out, programming it, trying it once, and then never using it ever again. Because <laughs> you have to use it at least once. But yeah, I had a friend who had one, and it was it was it was definitely trash. On the Dave scale, it was trash. Oh yeah, no no, it's trash. I mean, <laughs> we 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 tried to play both Punch Out and Rad Racer, and yeah, no, no, not not good. <laughs> Didn't work as advertised? Like uh, advertised no, him. no. When he punched Mike Tyson out. <laughs> yeah, it was just, ugh, it was so unresponsive. Oh, great. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So why don't we stop? Why don't we take a break? And when we come mm-hmm. back, we're getting into the top 10 gaming news of the week. Yep. And our convo of the week, uh, we kind of teased it a little bit before. Uh, Nintendo Direct. New Nintendo Direct. We're going to dissect all of the good stuff that come out of that. And we're back. All right, let's get into the news. So last week we talked about Sega visiting Microsoft, and everyone was all up in up in arms. They, we, you know, everyone was thought that uh, Microsoft may be buying Sega, right? Uh, uh, up in arms or, or excited? Well, it depends on who you are. <laughs> all right. right, depends on who you are. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, I guess, I guess, is this going to be like a weekly thing? Because now Capcom has visited Microsoft in Japan. Yeah, right. Bringing Let's in all this. the heavy hitters. I know what I mean. What what could be brewing? I I know but Microsoft can't be buying Capcom. You don't think? Well, could Street, could Street Fighter be exclusive on the Xbox? I'll tell you this: Capcom is not doing as well as uh, Sega is now, so it'd be it'd be more plausible for them to buy uh, Capcom. But I don't think Capcom is. I don't think Capcom is on the the buying block. Mm-mm. 
Well, I mean, it was, it was a couple of years ago. I, I don't know if it was like during the Wii generation or Wii U generation. Capcom right. wasn't doing so well. Mm-hmm. And there was speculation that, you know, somebody somebody should, you know, should buy them before, you know, before if Capcom goes bankrupt or something, something along those lines. Really? And everyone and everyone was like, you know, Nintendo, like Nintendo. I, it had to be during the Wii U era because it was like right. Nintendo. That'd be great. Right. You can only get Street Fighter on the Wii U. The reason to buy the Wii U. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, wow. But that didn't happen, obviously. Right, right, right. I mean, you know, there's positives and negatives on both sides, but I would rather Capcom be a neutral source, you know? <laughs> I think, I mean, this, I don't think they're going to buy Capcom. I think it's more of, hey, can is there an IP that we can sort of fund, right? That could be exclusive to the Xbox? Sure. Or, I mean, Microsoft or, has... Well, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Or maybe they just... This is this is a power play to try to to you know boost uh, Game Pass, right? Maybe get some Capcom, uh, Capcom, Cap, old Capcom IP in right. Games Pass to to make right. Games Pass even the look even better, right? I mean, well, it'd be great if you can get like all the Resident Evils. Well, sure, on Game sure. Pass. I mean, you know, the one thing I can say is that Microsoft has definitely had a very difficult time in Japan. They have never done well. Uh, They're still not doing that great over there. Um, So it's definitely part of that to try and repair their image in a way. Uh, If they're getting more, you know, if they're trying to lock down games for Game Pass, like good on Microsoft, because, you know, I think I'd I think I'd be a windfall for them for sure. You know, if you can get. okay, okay, okay. If you can get you can get a handful of like the Capcom fighting games, right? If you can get Jet Set Radio. And if you can get, like, OutRun, right, and maybe, like, a couple other Sega games onto the Game Pass platform, I would buy it in a second. I'd be on that Game Pass. Really? I'd be on that Game Pass. Well, even though, I mean... Even though, even though what was the Jet Set Radio, I think, is backwards compatible, right? Uh, maybe. maybe? I mean, I, I do have it for the 360. Uh, I haven't tried to play it on Xbox One. But, I mean, I'm talking about Jet Set Radio Future, the one that was on Xbox, the original Xbox. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, I'm talking about oh. that, too. I'm talking oh. about... Oh, 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 oh. Um, is that maybe... on that backwards compatibility list for X for Xbox, uh, uh, OG yeah. Xbox games? You could just buy that and have it I, I I own it. I own it. Trust me. That was the first game I got with my original Xbox. Nice. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, like, if what you're if what you're proposing is true, right? Microsoft is trying to shore up their Game Pass service and like, look, we have these games. These games are exclusive to our online platform or whatever. Like, I kind of be a windfall for them, you know. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, Microsoft is just doing really bad in Japan. Even Monster Hunter Worlds, I think, only came out digitally for Xbox mm-hmm. in Japan, mm-hmm. just because there are no, you know, there's no reason to have a physical out there right. when. They barely have machines out there, right? They sell like a thousand a month or something along those right. lines. They they can't even give away Xboxes in Japan. Yeah, right, right. So I don't know. I mean, I guess I guess I would be kind of upset if Microsoft bought Capcom. <laughs> um, I'd be a little upset. I think everybody everybody with a Switch or a PlayStation would be upset. Right. <laughs> unless, unless it wasn't like, hey, Monster Hunter Worlds Two is exclusive. It's on every platform, just like Minecraft is, right? Right, right. Could I mean, like Microsoft is in the business of making money, so maybe have you know, sort of. They bet if they did buy Capcom, you got to have Street Fighter and Monster Hunter and Resident Evil on all platforms. Maybe you have like new IP that would be exclusive to Xbox. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think I don't think they're going to buy Capcom. I don't think they're going to buy Sega. I no, think no. you know they are trying to figure out ways to expand out in Japan. And I think mm-hmm. this is more so their games pass. Yeah. You know, and, and maybe they're working on some old, you know, maybe they're working on trying to get some old IP in games pass or maybe new IP. Mm-hmm. Who knows? So uh, let's stick with Xbox. So Xbox brought back from the grave, something that I totally forgot about inside Xbox. Right. It actually is... premiered uh, over the weekend. Right. This is like their, I, I guess it's going to be like a uh, a monthly news show, uh, specifically about Xbox, right? Well, yeah. I mean, listen, you have Nintendo Power, 
they that's back, but that's as like a, a podcast, monthly, yeah. monthly podcast. As and they're still trying to figure podcast. out, you know, what makes them unique right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I've listened to good. it. It's they do good, a right? lot of exclusive interviews. Yeah. yeah um, and I'm sure, you know, the podcast would be even better when once we hit like E3 and, and after E3, all the big announcements, mm-hmm. stuff like that. You never know. Maybe they'll announce something on a uh, Nintendo, pa- uh, yeah. Nintendo Power podcast. Mm-hmm. So, so but, I mean, uh, I mean, I, well, I Sony, saw a bit of well, this. Well, finish. And then Sony has their broadcast, uh, the PlayStation uh, broadcast, right? They have that. Right. And Xbox really has only had Major Nelson's uh his podcast right right and you know he does he does a lot of videos on the actual xbox uh live network and whatnot like you know he's 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 definitely a he's definitely a big community guy you know yeah. now they have this now they have this monthly thing um i i saw i saw a part of it uh you watched the whole thing right i watched the whole thing and it was well at least this episode was just a promotional hour and 56 minutes of sea of thieves <laughs> right right yeah it was a little it was a little i mean that's all they have right now you know so i mean i like the idea but um they need to come out with more varied content and better content and not just one long sea of thieves for an hour and a half or whatever it is well it was, well, it was an hour and like 56 minutes mm-hmm. it was mostly about sea of thieves i yep. would say 90 percent right uh they did talk about PUBG. <laughs> And he did yeah. talk about some some new features on the Xbox on the Xbox One, mm-hmm. uh, but it was ninety percent Sea of Thieves mm-hmm. in depth interviews as far as sound, you know, like the the sound and the graphic design and mm-hmm. level design. Mm-hmm. Just it was just Sea of Thieves, Sea of Thieves, Sea of Thieves. It was a little cheesy with the with the parrots because uh-huh. you know Sea of Thieves the pirate game had the parrots yeah, sitting there, you know. You know. Uh-huh. I, 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 I give them that. I give them an A for effort though you know they're uh, they are uh, you know they're certainly trying to get uh, a little bit of production value in there so you know I'll give them that. I would say the coolest thing that they had was they gave away a solid twenty four karat gold Xbox One mm-hmm. X mm-hmm. Xbox One X right solid gold right. And with the controller, I don't, well, I don't know. It, it should have been, been a gold plated controller. It's probably, probably gold plated. I doubt it was. Uh, I doubt it was twenty four karat pure gold. Well, <laughs> don't ask Major Nelson. Don't tell Major Nelson that. All right. <laughs> he said it was heavy. So yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I thought it was kind of cool. I wasn't yeah, gold plated. I I I like the uh, the deep dives. You know, I like how they kind of got into it a little bit. Um, it wasn't. <sighs> Maybe they maybe they just need a game that's more my uh, that that I'm more interested in, um, and and maybe not maybe have a couple of games on there, you know, like because it's a little bit dry right now, I guess. You really if have they a lot switched, if out. they switched it up, you know, if they if it was more of a if they switched it up and talked about other things like what could be coming, things that we already know about, right? right. Like Crackdown, like mm-hmm. what's what's up with Crackdown, you know? Like we don't know anything about Crackdown, and maybe they're holding all that for E3. But, well, probably, uh, yeah. I mean, they, they, you know, they can't let too much out. But this is going to be a monthly thing. So I wonder, I mean, they don't have a big game coming out next month. So I wonder what they're going to talk about next month. Well, I mean, you know, maybe there's some DLC in the pipeline for some of their games, you know. Uh, maybe they'll maybe they'll kind of throw it back and do like a Gears of War spotlight, you know. There's lots of different things they can do. I mean, obviously, the idea is, look, here's the new stuff that's coming out. Let's get the hype train going and everybody get on board. But, you know, if they don't have that, they kind of have to dig back in the catalog, you know? Yeah. Um, listen, I, I thought it was cool. I mean, I always liked to have some, another show to watch on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I enjoy listening to the Nintendo Power podcast, even though That's it could right. be semi a little bit dry as well. Mm-hmm. But. It, they gotta have a little bit more. It was just, it was so cheesy with the parrots. I'm sorry. We're gonna look back at this eight years, ten years from now, and be like, that was a little cheesy. Uh-huh. Just, just we're, the, we're looking the props, at it now, and it's the cheesy. Were, they don't need the props. <laughs> it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna age better. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need the props. All right. Uh, all right. Let's talk about uh, games that are being delayed. We just found out that Days Gone. Uh huh. It's a Sony PlayStation exclusive. A Days game that Gone is now gone I, delayed yet again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a little I cheesy to. too, but I liked I it. Had to. I, had uh, to. It, I was hoping for this game for 2018. Mm-hmm. I got to be honest. Mm-hmm. 
uh, Sony has officially announced that it's been delayed to 2019. Here's the thing. Here's my issue. We're waiting for The Last of Us Part 2, right? Uh-huh. That's not coming out this year. I mm-hmm. sort of thought it was going to come out in 2019. Mm-hmm. These are both post-apocalyptic worlds with zombies, even though they're not calling them zombies, sure. right? They're too close together, too similar type games. Mm-hmm. I just... I. I can't see them coming out the same year, or maybe this is one of those, you know, maybe this is, maybe this is just a case of, Hey, we want to get out the way of red dead and call of duty. <laughs> uh huh. Well, wait, wait a yeah. minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't handle two zombie games in one year. These games are too similar. They can't, they, they, I mean, they're too similar to each other. They can't come what out. About, like, in the what same about like, what about like, what about like Call of Duty and then Battlefield and then Titanfall and then Well again, this shooters? is another and again, those are all established IPs. This is a brand new IP. Right, right. I mean I mean uh, I, I when mean, it I first came you're... out, people mm-hmm. thought it was people thought it was a Last of Us clone. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, I get what you're saying. Like you don't wanna you don't wanna come out around a heavy hitter, right? You know, Last of Us has some history. People people love it. They made a remaster. So if it comes out around when uh, when that game comes out, it's definitely going to hurt sales. If it comes out around Red Dead, like Red Dead is a different game, but it is a heavy hitter. And if people are going to spend 60 bucks, you know, they're probably going to go with an established franchise they like. So I agree with you on that front. You know, as long as there's like a month or two in between like that, uh, between between this game and, and like a heavy hitter, then I think they may do OK. Listen, listen, days gone, brand new IP. You don't want to have a Titanfall 2 type situation when you put it out to die. Mm-hmm. Right. And everyone's getting out of Red Dead, which brings me to my to my next news story. Call of Duty Black Ops 4, the worst kept secret, was officially announced. Mm-hmm. And it's coming out early. It's coming out October 12th. It's coming out before Red Dead. Right. All right. right. So usually Call of Duty games come out in November. Right, right, early it's, November, it's, it's while Battlefield November. Battlefield yeah. games sort of come out at like the end of October. Mm-hmm. Everybody's getting out of the way of Red Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's getting out of the way of Red Dead, yeah. which is coming out yeah. at the end of October. So they're I coming mean, out first. They're coming out October twelfth. Just, 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 just look about look at look at how well uh, Grand Theft Auto Five is still doing to this day. You know, the game came out in like 2013, the original version. They made an update for Xbox One, PS4. It still tops the charts, you know. If they if they have learned anything uh, from Grand Theft Auto Five, they are going to put all of that into Red Dead, and Red Dead is going to be like, it's going to be their torch song. It's just going to keep going. So you know, I I I definitely wouldn't want to put my game up against that for sure. Well, now the the ball is in the court of Battlefield, right? We know we're getting a new Battlefield game, Battlefield Five, Battlefield V, or whatever they want to call it. Mm-hmm. All right. When is that going to come out? Is that maybe a late September game mm-hmm. or is that are they going to push it maybe to mid November? Well, I don't think I don't think I don't think Battlefield is going to have a problem. I think really I think Battlefield can go toe to toe. Yeah. I mean, you know, like like Red Dead is huge, but it's not the be all end all. You know, I think you I think you're underestimating how, how much people no. want, want this game. I mean, look, 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 it's, look, it's Rockstar and all that. And I mean, I did just say that, you know, GTA five is going to be big, but. I think I think I think you know Battlefield could Battlefield could do well cuz Battlefield 1 people loved it, you know, like critically was, critically loved. And the fans But I think Battlefield it. 1 was a different story cuz it it gave us something totally different than what we were used to, right? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, they went It back came out of left field back. like we weren't expecting you know. to go back into the trenches, yeah. boots on the ground, yeah, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Sure. So, I think I think that was another reason why that was a huge reason why of his success not to mention how they broke up the stories right 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 so i just think everyone's trying to get out of the way to red dead because they know that's the juggernaut right like just just like fallout was the juggernaut and mm, tomb raider yeah, suffered fallout for it was pretty big yeah wow tomb so, raider tomb raider not as much as fallout i would say but but tomb maybe raider that, i mean listen it was nominated for game of the year my biased people it was nominated for get listen tomb raider was nominated for game of the year Everyone loved Tomb Raider, but they ah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You from, know. it got great reviews, yeah, but it was just yeah. it came out the same day as Fall. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it's tough, tough. That's tough. And it only came out on Xbox too, only one platform. Mm-hmm. So well, it was an ex- timed exclusive. Well, time exclusive at the time, yeah, yes. Yeah. 
Uh, and it, and then it sell it, it sold really well on PS4 when it came out uh, the following mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. Uh, but listen, Days Gone. Just take it back a little. Days Gone, 2019. I'm gonna say around that God of War type, right? Around next spring, I would say 2019, the spring, like March. And then if you're gonna release, if you're gonna release sort of The Last of Us Part Two, mm-hmm. that's definitely a holiday game. Mm. Either. 2019 or to come out on the ps5 that's the that's the that's the system seller that's for the ps5 <laughs> well you know we'll see we'll see i mean we'll know we'll know we'll know everything come e3 right i think we're gonna have some solid dates for all this stuff well so well listen and we'll get into our e3 predictions as we get closer but sony this e3 has to be vastly different than the last two e3s because mm-hmm. we we, we can't see well one we're not gonna see god of war again obviously because that's coming out before e3 right. we already well, detroit become human weeks <laughs> yeah it's detroit become humans coming out um mm-hmm. before e3 right and the only other game that we've you know i mean spider-man's another big game now mm-hmm. and then i don't think we're gonna hear anything from well maybe we will get a a, a kojima trailer right mm-hmm. hopefully we get a kojima trailer i mean listen i think Koj- i think death stranding and the last of us part two are both ps5 games launch launch titles for the ps5 coming out big coming out strong for the new console uh death stranding i would definitely agree with you because who knows who knows who knows when that's going to come out in reality you know kojima's going to put it out when it's ready and everyone's going to be perfectly fine with that as they should because the the man is making the the man is making art you know so all right we talked about gays going to be delayed we talked about call of duty finally finally having a release date mm-hmm. let's talk about the division mm-hmm. now we both love the division new york city baby right and we always said we're going to keep playing it keep playing it we sh- we never got we never quite got to level 30 <laughs> we, no, i mean i I, I think i think we it. gave that game its due i've certainly played that game more than i have other games so you know yes not, maybe maybe not as much time as i would have liked but uh you know we we uh you know we put it through the paces because like well, I mean, the problem with the first division is there wasn't a lot to do, right? We did the you same know? missions over and over again. Well, I mean, that's all there was. <laughs> you know, you had to grind it out. So the world was a little bit sparse. Uh, we were we were told we were going to get to play in New York City, and we really just got to play in Midtown. Like, legit, it was just like Midtown. You couldn't even get down to, like, the financial district. You couldn't go up to Harlem. You know, there was a... A brief stint in Brooklyn for the tutorial. You know, it was very, it was a small play area, and then they they weren't able to fill it up with stuff. I got to I got to see I got to see the building where I used to work. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's 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 like pretty cool. But I w- and we got to go in Madison Square Garden, and you know, kind of like bust that up. And you know, the home the home your home base is the uh, is the uh, post is office. the giant post office, which was awesome. You know, I wanted I wanted more of that. So we I'm got hoping- to see the fake Macy's. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm 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 personally hoping and I think I think like you are too that they expand out the game world and they throw a ton more stuff in there, you know? You know what I want well, all right, let's get back to the division. We talked about the division. Division 2 is official. Ubisoft yeah. has officially announced confirmed that there will be a sequel and we will hear more at E3 2018. You know what I want to see from Ubisoft? I just want to see them on the your characters on the train crossing the bridge to go into Brooklyn to do more battles. That's what I want to see. I want to see. I want to see trailers of us being on the subway into <laughs> other boroughs. Right. Complete missions. That would right. be awesome. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, I I think they kind of need to do that. Otherwise, otherwise people aren't gonna people aren't gonna be on board. You know. Or. And and I want to have like a battle with you know where we got to go to New Jersey, right? We got to hop on the ferry and go to New sure. Jersey, or, sure. or the Liberty Bell. I mean, not the Liberty Bell, uh, Statue, uh, the Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Sure, sure. These are like iconic things. They're not out of the realm. You know, the modern consoles can definitely render all that out. You know, we have huge game worlds. You know, like if Grand Theft Auto can do it, The Division can do it. You know, Ubisoft really just has to step their game up. They got to put more devs on board. You know, because okay, okay. Do you, do you remember the original original uh, trailer for it? And then they had that little uh, demo and they were like, check out this cool thing you can do. Right. And one guy's like sitting behind a car. Right. And he, he releases a drone and some other guy's controlling it with his iPad. 
I was like, I want that. Where is that game world, right? Mm. And, you know, it came out. We didn't get any of that stuff, you know? It was like half that. So, you know, I don't know. I just, I just want to be able – I mean, I love Midtown, and it's great. And we could go back to Midtown as a home base, but we got to expand. All right. Of course. I just I think the coolest thing would be to be on the subway going over the bridge, hearing about our next man, right, where, you, where, where we can see Brooklyn as we go into Brooklyn. That would be like that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. So, come on, give me more. And and oh, let me throw this in. Let me throw this in. Do you think they maybe have like a cheesy single player ca- uh, campaign? Maybe. No. Maybe not. Why? Why do you? Why do you? Why do you always want a single ca- uh, player campaign? Because you don't always want to play at the same times I want to play. <laughs> that's but why. That, that's and the I like whole. The that's the, the the whole point is that it's an online, living, breathing world. It would be so boring in the in, so the, in is, the single so player is Battlefront. <laughs> what? No, it's different. Oh, whoa, whoa, Star Wars. Battle- yeah, Star Wars Battlefront Two. Oh that's yeah, the it's, same thing. We got single, single player, player is campaign. awful though. It's just, it's just just there's just no meat on the bone, you know. Well, give them give me meat. Give me uh, turkey meat. I, I give think me you're, one. I think you're, give me a player uh, say, a, no, a single no, player this campaign. Is, this is not just, a this is not a peanut butter and chocolate situation. Like, look. I, I I understand you 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 love the single player solo campaign, but the the division is not that you know. It can be just because you say it's that doesn't mean it can't be. It can. But it's it but I mean I mean if you want if you want something like that, play um, play like uh, what's I like the, the other mechanics of I the mechanics of division. You know what's what's the uh, what's the other game they have that's out where you do all the hacking and all that? I can't think of the name right now. Watch they made it. Yeah, yeah, Watch Dogs, exactly. If you want that, Watch Dogs is not a shooter. It's more of a stealth game. That's like Assassin's Creed in the future. But that's that kind of game, though, you know? Or or play any of the shooters that have the single-player campaign. This is this is meant to be online. Like, I how about how about Watch Dogs meets the Division? How about how about Watch Division? Division Dogs? No, Division uh, Dogs. I just look, look, look. I I can't. I can't empathize with you, right? I think that's the right word. I can't empathize with you. Because there's so many good single player experiences, you know, and and there's so many multiplayer experiences. You got Overwatch, okay. You got the Division One. You got Battlefront Two. Well, it, exactly, you go over the exactly, exactly, exactly. So, the, the Division works as a multiplayer game. It, it barely works as a multiplayer okay, game. Just okay, just like just like Battlefront, right? Uh-huh. Where when I do get that game for ten dollars, uh-huh. I'm I'm getting that game strictly. To play the single player campaign, but it's I don't right. care. But listen, I don't care that they have a multiplayer on it, and that's good for the people who want it. I'm just saying, if you don't care about the single player campaign, don't play it. I'll play but, it. But but like, here's the thing, though they they basically shoehorned in take take Battlefront. They shoehorned in the single player campaign, and it's weak. If you were gonna spend sixty bucks on it and play through it, I would bet that you would be upset. Like it wouldn't be like Battlefield or like any of the Call of Duties where. There's both single player and multiplayer, right? You know, you, you. I would be okay with it. I mean, listen, I liked, I love Star Wars. I would, be, I would be okay with you'd it. Be, you'd be okay with sixty dollars and and their and their and their lackluster single. If it wasn't, campaign. if it wasn't for them, if it wasn't for their, uh, if it was for the, the debacle with the loot boxes and stuff, I would have bought the game for sixty bucks. Sixty bucks for? Oh, I bought, see, I bought I Battle, just... I bought, I bought the first one. Uh, look, look, I, I, I love a good single player campaign too. Don't, don't get me wrong, but. You know, I I would if if I had the choice between if I had the choice between uh both single player and multiplayer or just multiplayer, I would I I would say do one or the other. I don't care which one you do because I like I like both experiences, but I would say do one do one right. You know, I would say my only issue with doing multiplayer is I want to play with friends. I don't yeah. want to play with strangers for yeah. the most part. Oh, I mean, well, even, I though, we had, even though we had a cool experience, I get you on that. Ha- having we five different strangers come in and help us out, right? right. <laughs> and uh, they kept logging off. Mm-hmm. But you know, maybe if it was two more, like we had two more friends that we consistently play together as a team, yeah, I, w- I would feel yeah. that strongly. I mean, but, I, I trust me, trust me. I tried to rally people together, but everyone was like, "Yeah, there's nothing to do in that game." And I'm like, you're not wrong, but it's still fun to do stuff with other people, you know? I mean, the whole reason why I even bought the game on Xbox is because you bought it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And and I think we've I think we I think we played enough together to make it worthwhile. You know? I mean, we didn't hit level 30, but we definitely played hours and hours of that. Yeah, game. yeah. Well that's that's the you know, the other thing about this too is they said that uh some of your stuff is gonna carry over. So 
I don't know how much of that is going to carry over, you know, are your, are your levels and your skills, uh, are your, your gear and your armor going to carry over? Like, uh, who, who, who knows? Who knows? All right. Let's talk about a game. I got to be honest. I'm going to confess on the show. I've never played. Ooh, rated G uh, true confessions. <laughs> maybe we should, maybe that should be a segment rated G confessions. Uh, <laughs> I've never played the first one. I never played the second one. Uh-huh. I got to be honest. I have no idea what the game's about. But I hear Diablo 3, the third one, is actually coming to the Nintendo Switch. Oh, well, that, that, okay. That's, that's, that's not a surprise that you haven't played these. Um, uh, I think you'd well, enjoy, I think you'd enjoy Diablo, especially the third one. But before we get into what the hell is this game, uh-huh. I thought it was cool that Blizzard actually had this. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard had the, they tweeted out I guess the, like the, the, the Diablo like demon head sure sure and they put the switch on right yeah. they, they just flipped the switch and the light came on and everyone yeah. was like oh my god the Diablo, Diablo 3 is coming to the switch and they'd be like no 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 that that we're not that clever and by all accounts that it's coming it. to the switch yeah 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 this is this is you know I I I I will be I will be the I I, I will admit I'm I'm always no make new games make new games make new games but I think this is a windfall for uh, for um, for the uh, the switch. You know, I may uh, even get it. <laughs> I I have played the crap out of the PC version. I may actually get the uh, switch version to play it on the go. Now you got to tell me mm-hmm. what the hell is this game? I don't. I've never it's, played first one, second one. I have no idea what the game's man. about. <laughs> it's a hack and slash. It's a hack and slash through and through. Really? Okay. Now that's it, my type. It's a game. hack and slash. Now it has a lot of RPG elements, but. They've streamlined a lot of that stuff, so, you know, you do have to put, like, skills together and whatever else. You kind of build your character, and um, you, you're you constantly upgrading your armor and your weapons, but at the end of the day, it's a hack and slash, you know? And there's a ton of meat on the bone, because now there's, like, seven different character classes you can play, and you can go through the game multiple times, because you actually can't get to level 60 until you play the game through twice. Right. You can beat the game and then you're around level 30 and then you beat it again. You get go from 30 to 60. And then there's two more difficulty levels beyond that if you want to keep going. Um, so, yeah, this is this is like super cool. It's probably going to be Diablo three and the expansion with it, which is awesome. You know, so you're going to get like six, seven character classes, um, plus all the tweaks and the upgrades they've been doing consistently to the game. So, you know, this is definitely good news, you know. This is definitely good you, news. You had me at a hack and slash. Yeah, I, I'm just you know, <laughs> I'm telling yeah. you, pick that, pick, uh, get that game, pre-order that game, get it, get it day one. It's gonna be a good time. All right. Well, let's see. I may get on a, <laughs> I may get on an Xbox Xbox One X if it's Xbox One enhanced. All mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. Who knows? It Who knows? Be. I may not get it for the not Switch, sure. but it's good to see that everyone's coming to the Switch. Yeah. I think, and we'll get it. You know what? I'll save my thoughts when we when we talk about the Nintendo Direct. Sure. Uh, all right, let's stick with Nintendo. Mm-hmm. This is something I thought we could always do. But I gotta be honest, I paid no attention because I barely go on uh, Nintendo Nintendo.com and log into my profile. Uh-huh. But apparently you can now use your gold points as real money to buy digital games. Right. Well, this is I think this is this is now available on the switch, I think is the new feature for it. Because uh, I think it's always been there on the 3DS and the Wii U, uh, but now I can have when I brought games on a Wii U using my points. Yeah, no, 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 no. That has yeah. been there, but now okay, it's good. available for the Switch. I think is the I think is the is new the news. Thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think that's I think that's the new news. Which great. I mean, you should have been able to do that from day one with your points, but you know, it's nice that it's there now. You know. So you, it's just to recap. So it's sort of like five percent. Whatever you buy on an eShop, you get five percent back in points, and right. whenever you buy a physical game, you get one percent back. Mm-hmm. So it's it's enticing you to buy to go digital by right. giving you more points back. Right. The 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 inevitability it's coming, you know, it's coming. Yeah, but you can always game the system, and Dave can come to my house because I have like over twenty five Switch games, and uh-huh. he can just po- keep popping them into his Switch to gain one percent points. <laughs> I. I, I feel like I don't know if that's true. <laughs> We're gonna have to try that. It has to be true because according to Nintendo, I have I have five hundred and thirty 
uh, silver coins and 330 uh, gold coins. Mm -hmm. And I don't buy digital games. <laughs> I don't right. buy digital games. Right, right, right. I, mean, I brought two indie digital games, which I still haven't played in an in, in intoxicated state. But I doubt right. they, that would give me 330 gold coins. Right. <laughs> so it has to be a mixture of whatever you used on the on the any of the you know the the mobile apps the mobile games mm -hmm. for nintendo or physical games or eShop games right right so 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 just to kind of put this in perspective like the five percent so if you buy like a new uh full-fledged retail triple a game uh at 60 bucks you'll earn 300 gold points which is about three dollars um yeah. so <laughs> To, if you want to do the math, if you wanted to get one free game, you would have to buy 20 full retail value games digitally, and then you would get one free game, which is okay. You know, you know, the return on that is okay. Um, but, you know, I mean, I, I guess, I mean, at least I have something, you know, at least I have something. Yeah. Um, well, I used my points to buy uh, Happy Mario Day skins for my phone and laptop. Hey, there you go. There you go. Because you do have to use them or you lose them. That oh, I do know. So they so they expire. They do expire. I think they last That's for a year. That's kind of weak. That's kind of weak. They last for a year. Right. No. No. Yeah. You're right. It is. They they ended up they, they end up lasting like twelve months. I yeah, so um. You... I just. I I honestly honestly thought this was illegal. I honestly thought this was illegal. Maybe it doesn't apply, but I not to go off on a big tangent, but. I remember back in the good old days when Obama was president, he made all these sweeping changes to um, to like uh, credit cards. And this also included like gift cards and and promotions and whatever else where uh, specifically gift cards. I can tell you that they they would normally lose their value over time or eventually like not be usable anymore. And he made it so that any any uh, gift card. Uh, would never lose its uh, uh, money that's on there or would never depreciate in value. Um, I guess it doesn't apply to online uh, situations, it, which kind of stinks. It could, well, one, it could, it may not apply to this because it's, I mean, I don't, again, never paid attention to whatever that, that rule or, or uh, I don't think that's really a law, but I don't, I never paid attention to that. Right. Uh, I'm not actually, I'm not a gift card person. Like, well, I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, like I, I, I remember when all this stuff was going down, and there was, there was some big changes because, like, it kind of sucks, right? Like, you know, gift cards are the biggest scam in the entire world. There's so much money that goes unused, right? Because people well, forget like that about metro card. Them. People you get money, them. you get money on right. your metro card. You know, they make the city makes two million dollars a year from unclaimed metro card. Exactly, money. right? So, I mean, that's like the whole thing, like, like, and and you know, Obama, like. You know, say what you want about him. Like this is this is one thing at least I know that he did, which I thought was fantastic. And I guess maybe maybe it doesn't maybe maybe it doesn't apply. I'll, I'll have to look into this a little further because now may, now, it, now I'm it, definitely it, curious. Well, I mean these gift these points may not apply as like gift cards, right? This I mean this this may not apply to that, right? Uh, again, I barely use it on a Wii U. I mean, I bought like digital Game Boy games. Right. Here and there, mm -hmm. but it's good to know that I can use it on the switch mm -hmm. if I if need be. Yeah, but yeah. I, I usually just like to buy you know like t shirts or like just you know skins and stuff like that. I never uh -huh. really I, I don't I don't want to buy a lot of virtual games. I brought like two. That was right. it. All right. Uh, all right. Something I thought was cool. I saw it was cool. There was an NES emulator that sort of enables you to you know, play NES games in virtual reality. Right. So, so, um, this is, this is cool. This was an extension. Uh, I, this started off as a Firefox thing, right? Yes. Um, cause Firefox had this really cool thing. So I'm a, I'm a, a, a web developer by day, right? I'm a gamer by any other time of the day. Um, and he's, and, he, and you're Batman at night. And I'm Batman and that's right. I'm Batman. <laughs> I, I wish, um, they, they had this really cool thing in some of the older Firefoxes where you could turn on like a uh, 3d visualization mode mm -hmm. and it would turn any website into, uh, it would, it would kind of give it depth. Right. 
and they would basically let you know, like, oh, here's all, like, here's where the header is, right? And the header is a thing, and it's got all these stacked elements on it, and then, you know, like, all the different components of the web page would be different layers, and they would, like, extrude them out, right? So somebody somebody made a, a 3D Nintendo emulator in the Firefox browser, which was, like, super cool. It was a little buggy. A little buggy, but you could do that. And and now what they've done is turned it into a, a virtual reality thing, right? So you can like slap on, you know, you can you can you can like slap on the headset and play any Nintendo game in 3D. You know, I think the coolest. I mean, not all these games look good in 3D. Uh, yeah. But I think the coolest game in 3D was Contra. Yeah, yeah, Contra is Contra is Contra is Contra is definitely badass for sure. For Nintendo. Sure. Make this happen. <laughs> Make this a real thing. Bring I mean, back I mean, the virtual it needs a boy. More, it needs a little more polish, you know, but but uh, it's still pretty cool. Bring back, the, bring back the virtual boy, but better. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Now, now would be the time. This, th- that, this would be the time. Be listen. This would be the NES virtual boy, right? <laughs> uh, this would be awesome. But that Contra, man, that Contra looked good. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the Mega Man one looked looked okay too but yeah, that that yeah. contra i thought looked the best mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. punch out was probably punch out was probably like the worst of the bunch oh yeah yeah uh you know what you know what we should do we should try to play punch out with my uh now that i have a, pl- a power glove Ooh. <laughs> imagine play oh listen I'll imagine playing punch out in it. virtual reality with the power glove as your sensor uh. to punch <laughs> Okay, here's what, here's what you got to do. You have to take a picture of yourself wearing the Virtual Boy with the Power Glove on in in the in the in the uh, punching motion. We got to make this happen. Uh, you got to come over and take. I can't take that done, picture of myself. Done. We're making that. We're making that happen. I can't take that picture myself. I know. I know. <laughs> that would be cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you know what? I, I got the. I'll have the. I will, I'll have the Virtual Boy headset on. Right. Uh, and then I'll have the power glove in one hand, and I'll have the zapper in the other. There you go. <laughs> the future is now. The future is now. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, let's get into one more. Uh, let's get into a rumor about mm-hmm. retailers. You know, all these online retailers keep leaking things. Uh, but you know what? That's you know what you know what that's better than that's better than us getting information from corporate uh, calls because you know how much I hate that. Mm-hmm. I, I you know how much I, I, I hate conference calls. That are only that really should be only internal to investors, right? Right. It's how we get all the juicy tidbits, though. You know, I know, but it's not meant for us. So we're like, that doesn't sound. It is right. eventually. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're we're the ones who are ultimately going to be buying said game, but. <laughs> and I, I gotta know. say, I got <laughs> rated G confessions. This is another mm. series confessions. that I've never played. Mm. I've never played Manhunt One. Yeah, I've never played Manhunt Two. Mm-hmm. I gotta be honest; I have no idea what those games are even about. They are they are very controversial. I will tell you that. They're I have both controversial. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I mean, both. you should you should definitely play them at least. I mean, they 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 made a big stink in history. You know, they they made a, almost as much a stink as Mortal Kombat did when it came out. You know, really? Well, yeah. I mean, the games well, are well, super well, violent. I mean, aren't they like horror games? Yeah, they're not really horror games, but they are very bloody. I mean. You basically play as a serial killer who like breaks out of jail, uh, okay. more or less. Um, I mean, you you can suffocate people in the game with plastic bags. You know, it's it's pretty visceral. Um, okay. What I do know about this game is it was banned in Australia. A lot of games uh, get banned in Australia. I know. Well, Miami you can't even get playing in Australia. Right. Well, I mean, that game is you know that game is also super bloody and very stylized. You know, like. Some games do come out, like, you know, Grand Theft Auto, but they're heavily censored. You know, they kind of take things out. They kind of tweak them, whatever. Australia's got some very strict laws, you know. Um, really? But yeah, like, like, like Manhunt. Manhunt had a lot of controversy around it. You know, even like, even like over here, people were a little bit up in arms about it. Um, you know, and, and, and this was a series made by uh, Rockstar Games, you know, funny yeah. enough. Uh, so after their... After their Grand Theft Auto success in GTA 3, you know, I think their next game was uh, Manhunt. They had this idea for it, and I, I, I think it was done pretty well, you know, for, for like, what it was. You know, it, it was, it was there was a lot of shock to the game, for sure. But, uh, you know, they were fun. They were fun. So, um, 
I, I, I don't, <laughs> the one thing I'll say is, I don't know if it's the time, I don't know if it's the right time to be making a Manhunt game in this day and age <laughs> right now. Like, yeah, yeah, put well, that on the back burner. Well, this this was leaked by Austria uh, retailer, uh, mm-hmm. Game Shop, mm-hmm. all right, Game Shop dot at. So they put out a, a thing for Manhunt 3. And surprise, well, not surprising, uh, you know, Take Two Interactive renewed the Manhunt trademark. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that sparked the whole thing of is this even real? Is this coming? Is this actually coming? Now, again, I have, I've never played any of those games. Mm-hmm. Don't know what they're even about. I do own them. They're a part of the collection because I've I found them in the wild. I just haven't got I just haven't got a chance to play play it yet. Yeah, you should. But I mean, you know me, know what they're not about. big in, not big in the spooky games. But if I'm playing the, if I'm playing the bad guy, if I'm playing you're the, the guy, killer, yeah, you're the guy. <laughs> then this might intrigue me to to, to bump this up my playlist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I may put this on my playlist. Right, right. All right, and now last bit of news: The Witcher. Now they've teased. That uh, you could play you could play as a girl in another game other than the Witcher series. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And everyone is speculating that you could play him in uh, Soul Calibur Six, and this mm-hmm. actually makes sense because he he beyond listen he fits that world, right? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. A A he definitely fits that world, and B, uh, Bandai Namco is notorious for doing crossovers. Um, you know, Soul Calibur 2 had a ton of crossover. Soul Calibur 4 had Star Wars. They had Yoda and uh, uh, Darth Vader. We've had Link. We've had Heiachi. We've had Spawn. So I, I think, I think, I think uh, Soul Calibur 6 is, is definitely a safe bet. So, listen, they said they have they had no plans to bring uh, this game to the Switch. Soul mm-hmm. Calibur 6. Mm-hmm. Guarantee you, they're, they're working on seeing how they can actually put it to the switch. Port it to the switch. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a right. guarantee. Yeah. What they, right. what, what, what I want to see is for the switch version. I want to see Breath of the Wild Link. Uh-huh. I want to see. I want to see Kratos in uh, the PS4 version. Right. And I know you don't. You don't want to see Master Chief in the Xbox version. And you know what? I can. I'm okay with that. I want to see Marcus Phoenix on the mat on on a Xbox version. Ah, that's okay. Not that I. And then, and, I mean. And then, and then Galt could be on all three. I was, I was, I was kind of eh on the Star Wars characters because they just—it's a totally different. It's too sci-fi. I'm sorry, Marcus. Marcus Phoenix is awesome as he is. I just, I can't see him blending in there. You know, he's got a badass weapon for sure, but it shoots bullets. You know, you can't have okay. that. Okay. So what? That. So what? Uh... Nah, I mean, they, they really just want to use. I just really want them to use the chainsaw feature. That would be hot. Sure, sure, sure. Look, that, the gun that would always, be kind of bad. Listen, the chainsaw gun will always be on his back, and that would be a special mm-hmm. move that he can mm-hmm. get and use the chainsaw on. That would be kind of badass for sure. Uh, I'll agree with you there. That's all. Mm-hmm. I think I think that would be cool, and this and this is definitely cool news. Mm-hmm. So, let's get into the convo of the week. We got a surprise Nintendo Direct. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. I got to say, I wasn't expecting too much from this. And I don't know why everyone gets all crazy. Everyone is like expecting, you know, a brand new game. Everyone wants to be surprised. It's hard to keep people surprised for every direct, every trade show, every E3, every PAX, right? Like you got to spread out all the announcements. Sure. So I thought this was just going to be you know, a, a direct about ports. And I was right for the mm. most part. <laughs> I was for right the, for the most for the part. Most part yeah. Yeah. I right? mean, they were because definitely... they're going to save all the good stuff for E3. For E3. Yeah. I mean, there was definitely some highlights for sure. It was sure. definitely, some... we'll get into, so we'll get into all that. All right. So let's, let's just jump into it. Mm. All right. We learned at the beginning of the direct that mm. the 3ds is not dead. Yeah. Some people are hating this. I'm not because I have literally Three 3DSs sitting mm-hmm. on my coffee table. Mm-hmm. With, I mean, and they there, each have a different game in them that I play. There's, there's a there's a ton of kids who have 3DSs and not Switches, you know. Uh, yes. And they want more content, you know. And and I'm okay with that too, you know. So we're getting a WarioWare. WarioWare Gold mm-hmm. uh, has 300 mini games in it, which is which is it's basically a compilation of all the hits, you know. So we got we got a Mario Party game just like that 
that came out a few months ago mm-hmm. that was, which is, which sort was of a compilation of all the yeah. all the hits from all the Mario Party yeah. games. Yeah. Um so we got that. We got mm-hmm. this was really sort of, you know, pissed people off. We got a Luigi's Mansion remake coming to the Nintendo 3DS. Right. Now, the OG, people the OG launch they were, they, they were hoping that this would be for the Switch. Right. Right. Well, I mean, it is just a remake of the GameCube game. It's not a new game. You know. So I am I'm I'm like like if it was like a brand new game for the uh, 3DS, I'd be a little more upset, but you know, this is okay, you know. This is a port. This is a this is a port. Right, but exactly. Switch, I mean, like okay, mad. so every everybody who owns a Switch, I'm going to assume also owns a 3DS. At one point, yeah. Well, right? you never know. Maybe they can't find it anymore, and maybe they sold it or traded it in to get the Switch. Yeah, but I mean, you can get one easy enough, you know. I don't know. Listen, I like the first Luigi. I like I like the first Luigi's Mansion. Mm-hmm. I liked the second one that was on the 3DS even better. Right. Um, I think this. Listen, no harm, no foul. I mean, mm-hmm. bring the Luigi's Mansion remake remaster to the 3ds i don't see a problem with it the 3ds is not dead yet okay they still what 3ds has been out for what seven years well the ds has been out for about what seven years now they they have millions and millions and millions of ds's out there 3ds 3ds has been out for seven years the ds has been out since like 2005 or 2006 yeah there you go it's it's i'm i'm cool with i'm cool i'm cool with the 3ds still 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 living yeah, i think same. this this same. could be the last hurrah this year i did say i think i said a couple of episodes ago maybe or maybe last year when we talked about e3 last mm-hmm. episode the last e3 episode we had last year mm-hmm. i said 2018 would be the last year of the 3ds the last right. hurrah right. you are you are you are very much on track you're very much on track so um we we got to see a new well a new Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story game. Now this is sort of a port from the DS game. It's a port with, a with new, more content. It's yeah. another port, yes, mm-hmm. with uh, an extra level for Bowser Junior's journey. Mm-hmm. Right mm-hmm. now, again, this is an RPG. I'm not really big into RPGs. I didn't play really any of the Mario Luigi game RPG right. games for uh, the 3DS. Right. Um. So I have no idea what the story is. I do. Have well, the, you actually, you you actually, the the whole game takes place inside Bowser, <laughs> which sounds hence awesome. The, hence the inside story, yeah. Which sounds awesome. Probably not going to pick this one up. Just <laughs> not, you know, just not it's not, not something action-y. I'm into. Not it's a little RPG more actiony. Thing. I mean, like think about it. Think about it. It's a game in the Mario universe, so at least you have that going. And it's not complete RPG. I mean, it has you do RPG style battles, but it's a lot more actiony. You know. It's honestly a lot more akin to um, Super Mario RPG, which I know you love that game. I do because I have a, it has a special place in my heart because I had no other games to oh, play at the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. So you know, my parents didn't know what the difference was between a regular Mario game and an RPG game. Right, right. And they're like, oh, it's yeah. Mario. It's all the same, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. And I was like, Uh-oh. no, it's not. What are you talking? I don't know what this game is. Uh-oh. And I had to force myself into liking it, which right. I did over time. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, six months. Mm-hmm. <laughs> six mm-hmm. months. Uh, all right. And la- and this was the swerve that no one saw coming. The swerve. A port of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker uh-huh. coming to the Nintendo 3DS. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. July, July 30th. Right. And and you know, also coming to the Switch, too, which is very interesting. Yes, and, so and now- in the Switch version, this in the Switch version, you'll get uh, Mario Odyssey levels, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which I think is pretty awesome. So uh, I, I, you I, know, you know, I'm buying both versions, right? Of course you are. <laughs> of course you are. I am. I'm definitely getting the Switch version. I never, I never played the Wii U version. I don't own the Wii U version. Uh, so this is going to be a brand new experience for me. You know, I. I well, first of all, I have the Wii U version. I made it halfway through mm-hmm. the Wii U version, and it, it, it's pretty cool because you're like on this, you're sort of on this island. You can't jump. You can only right. go. You can only move. You can't jump, and you can sort of like move the Wii U gamepad to look around the world to see mm-hmm. like how you're gonna how you're gonna navigate, right. and that's pretty much solving solving those puzzles. And I must have did a bunch of. I, I played for hours, and I, I made it like halfway through, and I got stuck, and I never I never played it again. Ah. Uh... 
So, uh, but good game. This I honestly thought was going to be uh, in my mind. I thought this was going to be like one of those games that they launched. They launched uh, the Switch with. Right. I thought this was going to be a launch game. Right. So I'm not surprised to see, to see this is coming to the Switch. Mm-hmm. Uh, a game I am surprised to see coming to the Switch is they announced Okami. It's coming. Okami HD is coming to the Switch. Okami Nintendo HD. eShop. Summer no 2018. No physical release. No, no physical, physical release. release. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. I already have it for Xbox. <laughs> right. But even still, already, though, you know. And I already, play and it I already on the have go, the original you know. Okami for the PS2 and the Wii. Right. Well, I mean, it came out for everything, and then the HD version came out for everything. So it's becoming the new Skyrim in a way. <laughs> it is becoming the new Skyrim. But it won game in a year that year. It yeah, beat out it um it beat out the other uh, uh Zelda game. And this was like a Zelda clone. Skyward Sword mm, for game of the year that year. Kind of. Wait, the game didn't come out 2012. Skyward Sword? Skyward Sword did, but Okami didn't. Mm, I think you Okami sure about that? was like 08, 09. Yeah. Okami was a little bit earlier. Okami may have gone up against Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess. That's what yeah, I'm talking about. Then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so it, it it beat out Twilight Princess for Game of the Year that year. Mm-hmm. Uh, it came out and it came out originally at original release of April twentieth, two thousand six. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that would definitely that would definitely line up with the Twilight Princess launch. So yes, and then it, at GN, it was like in top running for uh, for Game of the Year, and it beat out it beat out Zelda. Yeah, which is, you know, it's all water, you know, Zelda, it's Zelda, you know, Zelda. So, all right, Octopath Traveler. I'm I'm, I'm glad they dropped the project mm. out of the name and sure. just called it Octopath Traveler. Yeah. Uh, I downloaded it. I played it. Now, again, not an RPG fan, and all I right. thought it was cool. I gave all feedback right. on my thoughts on it. Uh, mm-hmm. It has an official release of July 13th, 2018. Yeah, I, so I kinda... you want a new IP, <laughs> you got it. I, I kind of don't like, um, I don't know, the visual style is a little bit weird. Like, I, like I get what they were going for, but, like, I wish the characters weren't so 2D <laughs> and flat, you know? Maybe that's just me, but... Wow, like I, thought that was, done I, thought that, I thought that would be the one thing you liked about it. That's what everyone's raving it's about the, not the art really, style. It's not really done that well, I don't think, you know? It, it It's a little bit rough around the edges to me. It's the best way I can describe it. I don't know. Okay. I really... Listen... I played like maybe 30, 40 minutes of it, the demo. I mean, it was cool. Didn't yeah. capture my attention at all. Yeah. I don't know if my feedback was of any use because this game isn't for me. Mm-hmm. So, uh, another game that surprisingly you're excited for. I didn't even think you were. Yeah, baby, you, Travis you, 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 you surprise me sometimes. Touchdown is back. Come on. Travis strikes again. Travis, touchdown, baby. These games, so are, this, these games are these games are crazy. They're wild. They're very Japanese. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's cool. Uh, there's apparently like six or seven different mm, different mini games that you get sucked into. So there's like you know there's the action game. There's the RPG game. There's the like the like the puzzle style game. So you're doing like. You're doing a Isn't there a racing a racing game on? I believe well? there's a racing game too. Yeah, so I'm 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 very curious to see where they take the series. You know, um, yeah, no, no, it's good stuff. And and look, look, I've been saying long, brand new game, exclusive to the Switch. This is fantastic. This is what I want. I am I am pre-ordering and buying this game. All right. Well, you can buy that November 6, twenty eighteen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we already knew about Dark Souls coming out uh dark Souls, dark souls one remastered yep. coming out for uh the switch yep we it's kind of weird that we're getting an amiibo a dark souls amiibo which is already right. sold out on amazon right right <laughs> which, it's gonna be hard which, to get hard which to is get. ridiculous that's great man it's just like uh shovel knight you know yeah and all the amiibo does is give you some stupid posts <laughs> I'm, I'm, fine that, I'm fine with that, man. I'm fine with that. If if you know if if I can have the savior sitting up on my shelf, tiny little figurine, that's fine by me. I I almost oh what it does in the game is almost it's it's secondary. It's secondary. 
Uh, all right, I'm, it's already sold out. Mm-hmm. My only hope to get this, my only, you know, I have zero motivation to buy it, but uh-huh. I will go when it's on May 25th when this comes out to the Nintendo store that's by my job to see if they have any in stock because that's probably the only way I'm going to buy it because the pre orders are sold out. I'm going to have to ask you a favor. I'll pick you up one as well. Thank you. That's all I ask. <laughs> uh, now, the direct focused a lot and sort of towards towards the end a lot on uh mario tennis aces Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is sort of like the big thing that they focused on a a mario tennis game and this is where they lost a lot of people's attention really you're not (laughs) Uh, for this this is where this is where everyone said they were a little disappointed i mean you can play as 15 different playable characters which is cool Mm -hmm. they're four player co-op they have you know new modes like zone shot where you can sort of you know direct the ball in a certain way uh the racket can actually break that gimmick right there of the racket breaking that's a little gimmicky i don't know how that's going to play well because that's not how real tennis works Um, all right wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute (laughs) you're trying to put real world physics into a mario game come on listen i know chomp chomp gotta be fun is is a a playable character (laughs) the chomp is a playable character yeah I can believe that. I just can't oh believe the, the racket breaking. <laughs> oh, get out of here! Well, this I'm is going to be this, this game's going to be a great party game. I, 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 I never really that crazy about tennis games. I am, I am, I'm pretty amped for aces. Uh, I like the I part where they have like a speed, a zone speed where mm-hmm. you can slow it down, but it drains some of your power. Yeah. Uh, you know, so when it's going too fast back and forth, you can slow it down a little bit, but you will drain. You, you will. It'll drain some of your power. So it's sort of like a move that you're going to have to strategically use. You can't, you know, pretty much overuse it. Right. Uh, but they're going to have a pre-launch online tournament mm-hmm. when this comes out. Uh, you should listen. We should, we should, we should do it. We should try. Of course. We should well, go I mean, on. it's free. We should go on the tournament. <laughs> we might as well, we might as well see how the game is. And then, you know, if it's good, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely down for that. I'm definitely down. Uh, all right. So after that, and I mean, literally after that, they had undertale coming eventually. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which I thought was funny. the the game that the game that everybody went crazy about last year, you can now get, you can now get well, will be able to get for the Switch and play portably. You know, now, the question is, will you have a physical version? Because a physical version did come out for the PS4 and the Vita. Uh, that's true. That's true. And those were the those were big. They did they did they did really well. You know, it's um, it's not my game for sure. So. You know, I'm definitely not going to be picking it up, but I think it's a windfall for Nintendo. Uh, they would be, they would be remiss to not do a uh, a physical release. You know, I think um, everyone would be over. Also, that. also the worst kept secret in the world: Crash <laughs> right. Insane Trilogy is coming. Right? Yeah, to no, the no, Switch. we knew this was coming out. Yeah, and and eventually yeah. it'll be out for the Xbox. As Crash well. on a on a non PlayStation system. It's been a while. It's been a while. Well, I mean, we had all those Crash games on. We had all those crash games on the Xbox, sure. the OG Xbox, sure. and then we had a we, bunch we of crash games on the Wii. Yeah, we did have a handful of ones on the Wii for sure. For so sure. it did come. It did. It, you know, eventually, act at the Activision, uh, you know, got the IP. They did yeah. bring it out to other platforms. Yeah. Uh, and I'll get back to Crash when we get to our last game of mm-hmm. the direct. And I'll get back to Crash. I'll give you my oh, thoughts. And something else that was pretty creepy, Little Nightmares, the complete edition. Mm-hmm. It's coming out. Now, this is sort of like an inside limbo type game. It, yeah, it's definitely really, those I, vibes. I honestly, having gone back to it, I have the special edition for uh, the Xbox. Uh-huh. Uh, the funny thing is if you use a Pac-Man amiibo, you get sort of like this weird, creepy looking Pac-Man skin. Mm-hmm. Is it made by Bandai Namco? I think it is maybe it could be that yeah, yes, it is it has the right band dynamco hey there you go okay the now, now that makes sense now that makes sense yeah okay that's awesome uh, there was there was, there was a, i mean i didn't get into what I, I didn't say when i was playing early in the show but i think there was like some anniversary for pac-man mm-hmm. recently right because uh you could play sonic on a pac-man stage and then uh-huh. on, on on the mobile phone and on Sonic, on Sonic Rush, Sonic Run, you can play as Pac-Man. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Huh. Sonic Dash, sorry, right. Sonic Dash, not Rush. Yeah, 
you could play you could play as Pac-Man. So they sort of traded places, mm-hmm. uh, uh, like a couple of days ago. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it was okay. I played it when I was on a train, but then I went back to playing L.A. Noir on my Switch. Of course, because that game is fantastic. Thank you. I never said it wasn't fantastic. You're all about you it. Well, I, I just I I knew you'd I knew you'd get into it. I knew you'd get into it. But... Uh, another another. Another port that's coming mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. is South Park, the fractured butthole. Uh huh. Never thought I would see a South. The fractured butthole. Never thought I would. Never thought I would say fractured butthole and switch in the same sentence. <laughs> well, there's a time and a place for everything, and that time is now. <laughs> it's coming out April 24th. Mm-hmm. Uh, Again, I already have that game for Xbox. Probably not going to pick it up on the Switch, but a game I definitely am buying. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Now, now wait that's a coming out May 18th. Why? Why? You seem very selective about certain games and not other. You own Hyrule Warriors for the 3DS and the Wii U. But this is the Definitive Edition. I mean, there's going to be I, there are I, there are a handful of new things. It's not there, a new game, but uh, I want to play it on my Switch. I love the game. I don't know. I I I, I kind of get where you're coming from on some of this stuff, but then kind of not. Again, you got to give me something. You gotta give me something new, right? right? Like, like the reason why I didn't buy Bayonetta because the only new thing is you can use Amiibo to wear s- different skins yeah. as Bayonetta. It wasn't a different level. It plays a different character. There wasn't anything right. different. Right. Uh, you know, not even the slightest difference. Skins don't count in my view. Skins, skins, skins aren't worth sixty bucks. And I get yes. that. I get that. No, no, no. High reward is definitive edition. Now I can, I can in in the old high in the high original high rule game, high reward is game. Uh huh. You know, you can only play as one character at a time and you're right. going through the map. And every time you clear a stage, you always have to make sure you, you st- you're you still keeping an eye on the, on, the, on the part that you cleared because that may get taken over by at any point. On here, you can actually tell some of your your, your uh, NPCs to go over there, you know, like go go help out that area because I got to go to this area. Right, 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 right. OK, so you have a, you know, a little bit, a little bit more of a squad now. Yeah. 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 So I think that's cool. Mm-hmm. And. I listen. I really like the game. I'm sorry. I just I I love those Dynasty Warriors games, and this yeah. just has oh, the fun. Zelda I'm not skin. saying they're not fun, but I just you know. And this wouldn't be a Nintendo Direct if we didn't talk about Arms, and they're really pushing it, <laughs> and it sold. It sold okay. Okay, it sold about two million units, I think. I mean, what? So what, it sold, it definitely get, sold it, okay. It, it sold well enough that they're definitely making a sequel sometime down the line. Yes. And they're having uh, the U.S. and Canada online open from March 8th to 18th. And they're going to have mm-hmm. the finals March 31st. And also on March 31st, they have a uh, test punch, what they call a test punch. So if you don't have the game, you can play the game. I think it's only for March 31st is a weekend, right? Is that a Saturday? Uh, Probably. Usually they do them on the weekends, you know? Yes. March 31st is a Saturday. So mm-hmm. you have March 31st, you could play the game for free and i suggest dave you play the game because i think it's something that you really have to play over and over again to get a feel like if you want to actually buy the game and i I like the game i gotta be honest i mean i play it off and on every now and then oh it's great it's great i'm 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 definitely about it too um but it's not a game you could just come in and play like any other fighting game like you really need to practice right yeah 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 and you know competition is fierce you know people are uh people are definitely People are definitely very good at that game, you know, and, and, you know, do a lot of, you know, if you're going to get into that game, do some, do some, do some offline practicing if you can, and then, you know, take it to the head to head. Uh, and turn the motion controls off. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. No, you definitely, uh, definitely do the motion controls. Definitely do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, something that I was really excited about was they talked about Splatoon 2, and we talked about this earlier, but having, you know, single player single player campaigns Splatoon 2 paid single player expansion coming out in the summer of 2018 mm-hmm. this year mm-hmm. for 20 bucks yep you're definitely about this i know that i am deaf it was super cool she was walking you know she was an inkling walking through a subway she lost her memory subway's taken to like a test facility and there are like over 80 different 80 different new levels mm-hmm. and you have to use the subway to go through all the different levels all the different stages that looked cool and like I say, the retro music that they were playing during this whole thing was going on was mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. So if you haven't yeah. seen it, go watch it. Listen to the music. I hope that I, I, 
I, listen, that music alone would make me buy this because I thought that was cool. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm all about this. Right. I know you're not a big Splatoon 2 person, a Splatoon person. Well, I wasn't, you know, it's good. I, it's good. It's I good. wasn't so, so keen on the first one, but mm -hmm. I started really diving into the single player right. part and part on the second one. And they are challenging. They are mm -hmm. not easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So I really like this game. And of course, like anything else, you get a hundred new gear, you get a hundred, you get a hundred new sort of like different gear skins that you can swap out. Mm -hmm. I don't really care about any of that stuff. Well, it adds it adds to your character, right? It, like it changes the way your guy plays. I mean, at least it uh, does a multiplayer. I got to be honest. <laughs> my single player experience. See, that'll help you out. You need to get into that, man. That that's like I a gotta, whole component. I got to be honest. My in my single player experience, I have not changed the clothes. <laughs> oh, see, that's clothes. why you're having trouble. You know, they give you a, they give you a heads up. They give you a, oh, gonna... I should say a leg up. They give okay. you a leg up. So. There are there are no uh, at least I haven't to my knowledge and I haven't really looked. I just go in, I just go play. There are no uh, level settings like you can't change the difficulty. Right, right. Okay, so I have this thing of playing games, and I don't I don't really level up my character. I just mm -hmm. play through. I just power through, and it makes oh, it difficult. Sure. But you know that's how you know I, that's the that's that's how I that's how I roll. Dave likes to play things on super hard I for do. like five years until he finally beats it. Hey man, th think about how much enjoyment no, it, I get a, I get out of a game. If I can play it for five years, and then beat you get the game, your money's worth too. That, that, yeah, that works out to like pennies a day. It's incredible. So I'm a glutton for punishment. I I usually level up my character like later on, like right. And then, and people ask me, you got to like to the last level, and you never leveled up your sword, and I'm like, nope, no. Yeah, Le you level up, up your sword, really? I didn't even know. I'm I, I power. I just power with the wooden sword. Away. What's going on? Got to get that. You got to get that. You got to get that magical sword. No, I just beat it. I, I just beat the game with the bronze sword. <laughs> That's how I roll, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Let's get to the big news because they said that was it. And then they said, no, no, wait. We got one more thing. And then we got more uh, Inklings fighting each other. And everyone yeah. thought it was more DLC for Splatoon 2. Nope. And then she turns around. One of the Inklings turns around because it was fire behind her. Mm -hmm. And in her eyes was the Smash Brothers logo. That's right. Smash 5, baby. It's coming. It's Whoa. Coming. Slow, slow your roll. We it's, don't know okay. if it's Smash 5 or okay. Smash okay. or okay. the definitive edition. <laughs> okay. It's Smash 5. All right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through all the stuff online where people dissect all this other stuff and Look at the silhouettes and compare the two logos and whatnot. It's been it's been four years since a since a, a Smash game. I, I I think they've been working on this behind the scenes. I I, I will. First of all, we we have we can just because it's four years that doesn't mean anything. Okay, yeah, because if you look if you look at, no it doesn't because if you look at the history, Smash Brothers ninety nine. Two years later, Melee came out. Okay, seven seven years later. Brawl came out, and then six years later, uh, the Wii U and 3DS editions came. Uh huh. Out. So, so there is no if, we we, if we have no history Smash to go 4, back. If they on. put out a Smash 4 DX, people are gonna revolt. People <laughs> love Smash. They need something new. Well, they do. Well, let's look at let's look at let's let's look at some of the signs. Okay, uh -huh. they had the silhouette, which was cool. Of 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 some of the Smash characters, and it looked like that's the Breath of the Wild Link. All right, we saw Mario. There was a silhouette of Mario, but we don't know if that's a Mario Odyssey Mario, a Mario with Cappy, or just a regular Mario. We don't oh, know. They're, they're, I mean, if they're gonna have, if they're gonna have Breath of the Wild Link, they're gonna have, they're gonna have the new Mario in there too. I think. What, well, wouldn't that be cool if it was like the new, like if that was like the Mario Odyssey Mario? Where, That'd where be you great. Can like, like, use like, your cap to take over someone, yeah. uh, you know, for a limited time, and mm -hmm. and use them to fight other people. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, we obviously know from this little teaser that the Splatoon characters are going to be in Smash now, which is awesome. Yes, and I think we talked about did we talk about uh, a potential Smash Brothers when we when we talked about um sort of looking forward to 2018 a couple episodes ago, and I said sure. they they have to have arms character in Smash, right? I, like Spring Man would be great. Yeah, Spring Man, I think I think is a uh, I think is solid. Like that's like an interesting mechanic, right? You have like the Dalsam arms where they like stretch out. Um, that'd be, yeah, that'd but be they, incredible. They should have them in, but I think if, if they're going to do the Inklings, they probably won't. 
right? But really? they should. I think they should do both. I think they could do both. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Smash logo that they sh- that they and people dissect this online. The Smash logo that that that, that they displayed mm-hmm. was different than the Smash logo was, on Wii U. It was or slightly DS. different. It was slightly modified. It was. I it mean, definitely was modified. So that it could be a new Smash Brothers game because the logo is different. It's it's uh, definitely going to be a new Smash. It Sakurai, who mm-hmm. created Smash Brothers, mm-hmm. has gone on record on Twitter and said he is working on the game. Now he's in the past said he won't he won't be you know we don't know what his role is on the game. He said he doesn't want to be a director or producer in the game anymore. Right. He just want to be a consultant. And sure, is he just a consultant on this game? I mean, again, he said he he said listen, we've <clears> been working <throat> on it. Just be patient, right? Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. I want it to be a new Smash Brothers game. Yeah. However, I'm tempering my expectations, and this could be Smash for the Definitive Edition. And you know what? It could be. It could be a mixture of both, right? It could right. be where it's like, hey, every you know everything is new, and you have everything from the Wii U and 3DS. This is the biggest Smash Brothers ever. <laughs> well, I mean, I think I think a lot of the characters are going to return. You know, maybe maybe we'll see the Ice Climbers back again. That'd be kind of cool. Because uh, maybe we'll see. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Apparently, very hard to very hard to uh, program. You know, they weren't able to do it for uh, uh, four. I don't think they were in brawl either. I think they were just in melee. And um, you know, very interesting mechanic because it's like the two of them are kind of tied together. So like, if one of them falls, the other one falls too. Um, very interesting. But yeah, I think they got on record saying uh, it's very, very, uh, very difficult to program for. You know what? I think Cappy. <clears throat> it would be difficult as well, right? I mean, just as far as making it fun, because if you can take over someone, don't, if you can possess someone, right, mm-hmm. while you're fighting them, I wouldn't even, you know, I wouldn't even fight them. I would just possess them and then jump off the screen. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. So I think they want to see what they, they do with they, them. They would, they would want to stop that, right? They yeah. would want to say, hey, you can't just do that, because that would be sort of like unfair. Yeah, it'd have to be some sort of modified thing. Like, like <laughs> maybe, maybe you can just use the cap to jump on. And use that as like a yeah like, true, like or maybe you or can jump. actually do possess them, but you you can you you possess them for a short period of time, and you can't jump off screen. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, you know, see, like, see, like, these are all the things that this is what you need Sakurai for, right? He's the one to come in and say, like, all right, look, I have an idea. Here's how we do it, and then the team goes off and does it, and you know, he'll kind of like he'll he'll kind of come back a couple weeks later and give it like a yay or nay. You know. I know, but but I don't I don't I don't want him to be a producer. He almost killed himself. Like he was physically injured, <laughs> like programming uh, the last three games. The last yeah, the last three games. Yeah, they. Uh, there's a, it's a very interesting culture over in Japan. I mean, well, well, he just he shows his work ethic. Like well, he's sure. shown a, a a really really big work. It's ethic. dangerous though. Like like they specifically yes. they specifically have uh, tiny little hotels that have nap pods. Specifically for this, because businessmen work way too late, they can just go to this place, spend a couple bucks, get a little pod, which you slide into, sleep, shower, get up, and go back to work without going home. Right? It's it's so, that's crazy. Sounds like being a, sounds like being a lawyer. Well, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know that you know I mean, that's what they you know I work in a legal field mm-hmm. in a lot of law, big law firms. Uh, they buy like a bunch of condos, and like you know. In close proximity of the law right, firm, right? So you can just go so and you, crash. You can go crash and come back to work. And a lot of big law firms have like gyms and, mm-hmm. and inside the building mm-hmm. uh, where you can just go work out. Right. Uh, you know they have their own food service. Right. A lot of times it's free, where you just go eat whatever you want because mm-hmm. they want you to stay there and work. Yeah. Just like yeah. Google. Ah, <laughs> Google. Crazy. Oh, Google. Yeah. Don't don't get me don't get me started on Google. You know. hey, the Google will have a babysitter for your kids, <laughs> right? But they have they have nap pods and slides and like everything, everything you could ever want is at Google, right? I know they, don't want, they don't want you to go home. They don't you want, you know home. what? You you they're paying you to live there. I know, I know. Well, look, so, well, thankfully, 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 we have normal nine to five jobs, more or less, that allow us to come home and do this and do this uh, podcast. Yeah. So, well, I, well, I think, what if, I think we're both super super thankful for that. I am, I am super thankful for that, and I'll also be super thankful if if Crash Bandicoot would be in this game. Oh, that's what you wanted. That's what you wanted to bring back. Uh, I, yes. I, I that that's 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 not outside the realm by any means. I don't think. You know? Then we could complete the Triforce. 
<laughs> if we can complete the Triforce, we have Mario versus Sonic versus Crash. Right? Oh, well, there you so go, awesome. right? The Nintendo three top mascots Sony, of the nineties. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. All you gotta, all you gotta do is get Master Chief in there, and there you go. <laughs> no, I want Kratos. Oh, what? Well, well, Kratos is PlayStation, though. Why is Master Chief in here? That's Xbox. Because someone's got to represent uh, Microsoft. <laughs> no one has to represent Microsoft. Oh my God! I was, I was trying to riff off your thing here. Come on, go with me on this. Go with me on this. No, Master Chief. First of all, I said the name. Marcus Master Phoenix. Chief, Marcus Phoenix. Will that make you happy, Marcus Phoenix? No, 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 none of them. <laughs> Oh my god! Hell None of them. I don't. I listen. I can't. I don't win. want any of them. I. I, can't I don't want any of them. How about? How about this? How about? Uh, Geralt isn't going to be in Soul Calibur Six. Oh. He's going to be in Smash Brothers. Uh doubtful. Doubtful. Oh look, you know what I? You know what I? You know what I do know? You know what and I do that? know? I know that our fans are awesome. Our fans are the best. Um, <laughs> and we love when you guys comment and interact and like and listen to the show so we want to we want to we want to thank you guys for that you can find us if you want to comment interact and uh, get in touch you can find us on facebook twitter instagram google plus youtube and vero at rated g for gamers you can always email us at info at rated g for gamers.com so please like listen subscribe and as always keep gaming what a segue <laughs>